He will bring us silver and gold. It's the yak on some boy story shit. Should we get uh other? Yeah, let's in? get a couple more. Kyle, come on, bro. Her, her, your your taste is imp- impeccable. Your fucking acumen is beyond reproach, and your ability to hoard is second to none, dude. Why not just fucking go round some people? Oh up? yeah, I thought you. Were, I thought that was gonna be an insult, a lead into an insult. No, bro. Bring these people in. Bring some. Get get some heads. Get some heads. It's I know the exact crew he's going with. <laughs> I know the exact crew. Wait, what is there? Three people there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's got the bounce. More bounce for the ounce with that fat ass of his. That ass is so fat. Uh, bounce with the ounce. More bounce for the ounce. That sounded like a, like a radio show intro type. More bounce for the ounce. <laughs> Coming up, up next, we back. got Kyle Bauer. More Forty minutes of nonstop <laughs> bouncing ass. <laughs> Commercial free ass. And bouncing it's not up even and my down birthday. Over the radio waves. <laughs> I want to put some icing on it. Um... Nick is here. Lil Sass is here. I saw Lil Sass last night. How would uh, he do? I didn't see him do stand up. I, I just see go I up. just saw him in the wild. Just straight up posting. You saw him in the wild? I oh. didn't even know who's going to be there, but first let's talk about Roback. I'm going to talk about that in a second, but first I want to talk about Roback. It's the summer of Roback once mm. again. It's the summer of love. It's the so and Roback, what better way to represent love than with Roback? They got the Q zips. Q zips. Joggers, mm. hoodies, sh- sh- just a, a nice golf shirt, hats, lids, pants. Big Cat's wearing them right now. Probably. Big Cat's n- <laughs> Big Cat's not here right now. He's uh he's he's moving and Kate's on the road and they both independently texted the Yak group chat and said, "We're wearing Roback." Kate's in a Q zip right now. Yep. Yeah. Q and the Q's for cute because it looks great. Mm-hmm. It's a great looking uh, zip, and uh, you're gonna love it if you buy it. Twenty uh, percent off, r h o b a c k dot com. You just use code yak. Twenty percent off, pretty good, <laughs> pretty freaking good deal for some pretty great clothing. Mm-hmm. Roback, but yeah, I saw <laughs> blind sass. <laughs> hey, you do look blind. I know these are these are super tinted. You look cool. What, a dark tint or like a colored tint? Dark tint. I'm going. I'm going with a cool look today. You look really. Yeah, you look Thank cool. You. Great choice. Our fox in Great the building. Choice. Oh wow. Wait, are we shadesing today? I can. Yeah. Five shades of gay. Try and keep hello, up, bro. With us boys. Do <laughs> I go get my shades? Go get your shades. Uh, uh, Robbie Fox. Fox. What's up, brother? This is a fucking Fox good man. ass treat, bro. We have. This is a rare, rare appearance. Yeah. yeah. This is Yakagami right here. What's good, brother? What have you been up to? Not much. Been chilling. Before, before you start, give us some pessimism. Yeah, give please. Us some pessimism. Dude. Yeah. What are you Looks pessimistic about right now? <sighs> Twitter. Twitter sucks. Twitter does. Ooh. Going downhill. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. I don't even remember last time I was on Twitter. Hate it. Thread sucks too. I don't like that either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of had to assume. <laughs> yeah, that all right, all right. It's gonna suck. It's the last right? movie you stopped halfway through. Uh, the David Bowie documentary that came out this year is called yeah. Moon Age Daydream. The whole thing is like an acid trip. I just, if I was on drugs, it would have been great. I wasn't on drugs. You weren't even on drugs. You'd rather have two moms or two dads. <laughs> Ooh. So I think younger, you'd want two moms, but as older, I'd love two pap paps, two old oh, men. Yeah. Why would I you think want two moms? I think I'm a mama's boy. Yeah, that's why I, w- I want. While I'm growing up, I want two moms for birthdays, for cooking. Yeah. When I get older. I want but then, like dads. the 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 more manly mom, I feel like is way more of an asshole than a dad is. I want, my, I want both my moms to transition as yeah. I hit, after I hit like forty. Yeah. You think that that'll have the same oomph? Yeah. Yeah. I, One of those thigh meat penises. <laughs> <laughs> two gay dads is kind of uh, sweet. What are you on? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if they had to use my <laughs> thighs to make my dick, it would be the thinnest cock. <laughs> Just a pinprick. Piss would be coming out like a water pick. Like a, <laughs> yeah, piss like would be cleaning teeth. At the d- <laughs> <laughs> Dislodging pork chop from the molar. Yeah, but it would probably be nice, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. They do the most. They do the most with those. But I went to Sass's show yesterday, or I went to the show at, at the stand that uh, Sass was also there on, and... Uh, I got I got crowd worked pretty fucking good, dude. Yeah. I got fucking uh worst yeah. nightmared. They they cracked me open. The host of the show was like, 
Whoa, look at this guy. His balls are hanging out. Oh, no. <laughs> about my balls. Well, Wait, and you're in the compression stand. Oh, I'm in compression yeah. stand. I'm in the fucking long <laughs> oh. guns, the silvers. Yowza, take a look at this guy. His <laughs> balls are hanging out. <laughs> and then the next comic came up on stage. Like, he was definitely like, he definitely was listening to the opener because his first thing was like, hey, look at you. Hey, your balls aren't even hanging out. Look at his balls hanging out. Like, and he just oh, went right man. back to my balls hanging out. He's like, look. Look at this guy, half autistic. Like, fuck, it's just. Uh, yeah, they like they love saying that now. They want to just say they was just like wanted to say something, and it's like he has a grab bag of like four words that he could have picked. He's yeah. like, here, scroll the Rolodex and landed on autistic. I guess that's what the people did when I went. They're like they just called people autistic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was funny. They it's called me <laughs> Seth Rogen. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think some people in the crowd believed it. They're like, what? Oh, so no. there was like a murmur. Was yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> they applaud you. You have a sense of like, I can get up on stage and just dress someone down when someone's crowd working you like that? Or do you no, know? no. I was like, yeah. I, I was like, I gave him like a thumbs up. My He's balls like, are I hanging got out. A guy who keeps on giving thumbs up or something. He just was like oh, looking man. for anything. Hey, that would oh. devastate me. <laughs> yeah, that is, I'd that never was. raise a thumb again. <laughs> yeah, he kept on hitting. It's pretty me. good. Like, you having a good time. Did he asked you what you do for a living. And then he came back to me later in the show. I was like, Are you what? What do you do for a living? I was like, Ah. Uh, Oh, yeah, what do you say? I said, I'm in sports media. Mm -hmm. He's like, what, do you fucking represent the big athletes? I was like, I don't know. Yeah, or not really. Like, I do, like, stories and stuff like that. I didn't know what to say because Francis was about to come up, but I don't want to be like, I work with that guy. And he was like, what's the big story in sports in sports media right now? What did you say? I just drew a blank. I was like, uh... Oh. <laughs> Damn, I and didn't he was know like, any football? Of this. And he was like, oh, you, so you suck at your job. And, <laughs> and the crowd like, went wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's they a good set. Dying laughing. It's going to be on his Instagram. They were dying right. laughing. He was like, Jets got Aaron Rodgers. I was like, well, actually, I'm an Eagles fan. He's like, I didn't know you were gay. Oh. Uh, he is a good crowd work comic, too. He's been doing that you for years. Oh, like that stuff was years. good? I mean, he kills. I'm sure he was murdering. Yeah, because he goes like ripping into he, you. He goes autism, gay, balls. Yeah, it's like fucking rotating. He's fast through. too. It's like very like. Wait, is this, do I know who it is? Probably. It was Aaron Burke. Yeah, he goes fast. He's a fast. He's yeah, like an auctioneer. Oh, yeah. Greer actually. Greer. I remember when we used to go to the stand a lot, and Greer would say that he would talk to him every single time that Greer went, and Greer, Greer used to go to the stand like on a weekly basis. He would just he would, he would work a material for Greer. Greer every single uh, time. If Greer was Greer in the crowd, a crowd work comic would salivate. Yeah. Greer looks like a voodoo doll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he looks like he like was born out of a tree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's no joke. Greer but... was born in Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> yeah. He just emerged. His mom is Grandmother Willow. <laughs> he just fucking <laughs> fell out of the tree. But... Uh, yeah, this guy was on my ass. But there was no part of me that was like, I got to go back at him. I was just like, yeah. Yeah, you can't. You not said you're a battle rapper. Oh, my God. That would have been a nightmare. Yeah. Anything, I, anything that would have been an honest response would have been a nightmare for yeah. me. Yeah. I'm a battle rapper. Roastable. He's five minutes on me. I work at Barstool Sports. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's doing ten minutes yeah. on me. Like, I would expect you to completely lie. To be honest, knowing you, I would expect you to be like, I'm an accountant. Yeah, I would have done that. I would have said I was an accountant for sure. Yeah. He, started, yeah. Yeah, he just snores at you. Snore. That would that would kill. Hey, when we start saying numbers, boring job, like, <laughs> not a jury duty. Yeah, I fucking do count for a living. I didn't even consider it. We were like a little bit late to the show, and then they like we came in, they just slid us right in the front row. It was just yeah, you were up close. I was yeah in the spotlight, and the way that they have it set up there is like the front row is all spotlighted. Yeah. I saw more some people in the crowd doing like unspeakable things during the like he was crowd working another couple and a, a dude just interrupted and was like the same thing used to happen to me and my brother to a comedian who was like English as a second language and he just like spoke a paragraph to me. it was so yeah. weird and inappropriate it was last, just last time I was at the stand there was a guy who made the mortal mistake of eating pizza well, there was a crowd work comic <laughs> and he honed in and he destroyed this guy for eating pizza yeah. They, they, this guy, they were it's getting these guys from the world. His <laughs> asshole Even shoving the fucking his face. Crust? <laughs> <laughs> you eat your fucking crust? <laughs> and that's the main thing that they serve there. Like, if you do crowd work at the stand, like, you know you're going to hit people with pizza jokes. Like, oh, you can just prepare pepperoni? Some shit. All right, Mr. Brave. <laughs> 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 I'll take extra sausage. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
You guys are good at this. I'm like can't even think of it. <laughs> you just gotta, gotta say what they're I don't doing. How, you're, how are you doing this? <laughs> yeah. It is hard. I mean, we should, there's a newfound respect I have. We should crowd work the office. Yeah, it's so yeah. Hard. people that walk by. Own it. Yeah. Sass, do you ever crowd work? Are you crowd work guy at all or no? I'm starting to. I feel like. No. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. The last show I was at, you did a 15 minute opening set of all crowd work. Where? At your Tuesday night show with Colm. This is because I was hosting. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, what that's host work. That's, uh, when you're hosting, you have to do crowd work. So you got to get the crowd engaged. Ooh. But uh, when you're hosting, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Hey. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dorcas, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, did you say I was doing crowd work? No, I was hosting. Fucking point Dexter over here. <laughs> On crowd work. Oh, shit. No, but when I have like a normal set, I don't. I don't do like any crowd work unless I have to. Like sometimes you have get to him, Nick. if you're if you're sucking. <laughs> I don't want to get his ass. Get his bombing, ass. you got it. <laughs> you have to do crowd work when you're bombing. If you're like not getting any laughs, yeah, it does. It's an easy way to get laughs. Takes you out of the moment a little yeah. bit. Gets the crowd back. Yeah, a lot of people were working on new material last night. Always cool to see comics, especially established ones, working on new material. Yeah, trying some shit out with a piece of paper. Yeah, respect that. You That's got brave. To <sighs> I'd figure out the jokes that work and never, ever, ever change. It's a good amount of people do do that. Hell yeah. There's a good amount of New York comedians who have been doing the same 15 minutes for like 20 years. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. You probably know it so well. Yeah, and they're like, they do well every time. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that'll be fun that. though. It's yeah. comfort zone, but uh, yeah. you got to step out. When when you do have new material, how would... How do you go? What's the best way? You just fire it off, just rip it one day, or what? We just did a new joke last night, and he just went up, and it was the fart. He just opened with that joke. Whoa. I never do that. I do like two new jokes, and then I like sprinkle it in in the middle, and then usually it it bombs hard, and then I go back to the old stuff. What about like all follow up with like your best joke after that, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them back. So you sandwich it in between two good ones. Smart. Have you ever bombed on stage, Robbie, with like an instrument? Break a bass string. Um, you could say that the House of Blues show was a bomb. He tried What'd to fight. He tried to fight. He tried to like after we went back after the show. He tried to like run back on stage and like beat the shit out of a dude who was on the balcony that was like throwing empty beer cans at oh, us. Oh, someone was throwing shit. The whole the whole, the whole stadium crap. was because I was, was I was an, I was antagonizing them. It was right after the Eagles had beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl, and we were in Boston, and I was like, "How do you like that shit?" Boo. And they just start fucking throwing him, and then he was like, "Oh, you're throwing like Tom Brady over there." Yeah. And it just pussy can't crowd hit me. Work. Yeah, you were crowd work. I was crowd, crowd working work, the yeah. fuck out of them, and they were literally like throwing bottles at my head. <laughs> and then they started coming like half full, full. Yeah, you know, point blank. The they were like in a crow's nest, like shooting down on us. I would say we bombed that show. Yeah, I lost my voice. Yeah, you were spraying your voice with like your throat with shit. Half like our the second show, show ever. Yeah. So that yeah, you bombed your second show ever. Yeah. Whoa. And it was in a venue that was like too big for us. In the first, we sold like over a thousand tickets. But House of Blues Boston. House of is Blues like, is pretty huge, right? I was like twenty three bad, right? and I was like talking shit to them. Yeah. So that was that was a weird weird feeling being on stage like trying to have fun playing while people are like launching yeah. cans. They were having Whoa. fun throwing probably, the bottles like at us. Friendly throws or no? Yes. Yeah. Some of them felt. seem like friendly throws. One I remember seemed like a hostile throw and then I, I yeah. Then Have I, you ever seen the videos at the Preakness when like everybody is running across the uh, the porta potties and people are hucking beers at them? Yes. It's like that. <laughs> Yikes, Nick. That's uh, bad. That was like one of my bigger waves too. That was your. I've, I've never, never seen, seen you that, that extended ever. Extended arm. Uh huh. It was like a, a Native American chief. That was a fucking yeah full ass wave, and she motored by you. It's okay. Should we have her on the show? Why not? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. You want me to get her? Yeah. You want Let's me to she get her? It's like fifteen minutes. She might say no. Boys. She says no. She says no. What are your oblos later today? I'm going to the Drake concert tonight. Rizzy. Oh, you are? Sunday. Me and Ron are going to Drake. 21. Where's your seat? Nice. Section 9. Oh, cool. I'm 8. I was listening to some... <laughs> 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 Fuck. And they, it is Drake a straight line. Night. Yeah. You're just right behind <laughs> someone. You're, what were you about to I was say? listening to Drizzy last night. What were you... Uh, Late, which album? The 21 Savage and Drake album. They like, prepare? Yeah. Are you going, Sass? No. Oh. Just preparing for Ron. What did you... Uh, what were some lyrics that you picked up? I think I said Red Ops for some reason, and then I was like, that's a song, isn't it? And then I listened to Red Ops. But that's not 21 and Drake. That's just 21 Savage. That's like his first 
big album. Twenty One Savage loves to call people pussies in his song with song yeah. with Drake. He just like he'll say it real slow or he'll just be like pussy. <laughs> <laughs> pussy. Pussy. What's the word? I just kind of just look like a creep. You looked like a creep. <laughs> it didn't go my way. <laughs> no? Yeah, you came uh, back yeah. down. She handed. She has somewhere to be. It was completely normal on her part. I just felt weird. And um, Nick and Kate? Uh, I think I just said, you want to come here? <laughs> <laughs> you. Hey, you come here. That's two L's. Like you like this? <laughs> Whistle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A beckon? You can't beckon someone like that. On Nick, the what are your oblos? Me? Yeah. I was thinking we go for a while today. You're asking Oblos. You order some lunch and some dinner in here. We go long. Dinner. Yeah, I'm like enjoying that. this. I'm a, I'm we a only have Bob Fox for so long. I 100% am enjoying this. I got a it's s- only been 19 minutes. Suit That'll change quick. quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm running out of steam right now. <laughs> you got what at 8:30? A tux fitting. Oh, Robbie and Co. Me? Well, no, it's the name of it. I like <laughs> because it's coincidental. Oh. Yeah, they're good guys over there, I heard. Are you going to get tails on your tux? I could see you looking fly with some tails. What the hell is that? Yeah. Have you ever seen a tuxedo with like the like two the tails? Oh, like, no. The long things that hang. Yeah. No. Jeeves. That looks like shit. Well, you don't like badass. that? You'd be looking like an Alfred. You'd be looking like yeah. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> a Studebaker. Yeah, what are you getting tuxed up for? So whose wedding is it? And what kind of wedding is making you wear a fucking Zito? What do you mean? Uh, you're going to We're going to Tahoe. First time, never been. Always wanted to go for my boy Pat. Okay, shout out Pat. Yeah. Big guy, coach. Yeah, baseball coach at Fordham. Oh shit! What? What's the tux for then? The wedding. You're in the wedding part. Gotcha. Oh no, it's uh, a suit. Oh. oh. Yeah. Not a tux. What's the difference? Tux is a little things. more. <laughs> <pressy>. <laughs> it's a black tie. That's a black. You got a black suit. Black suit. Yeah. Black suit. Yeah, yeah. A tux is so like yeah, the, the cummerbund and right. Yeah, no, no not, not all high suspenders. And like the lapel has, I like, probably does it have like a different shade, maybe or a different a type of or maybe yeah, yeah. A different type of. Uh, what the like, hell are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> and did you feel beautiful at your wedding, or were you just an accessory to the bride? I was an accessory to the That's bride, a, as it should be. Yeah, yeah. I'm not supposed to be. Out you, there. When we used to get fitted for tuxes for like we'd rent them for prom. And and everyone had like what is the thing that you wear? That cummerbund. You, cummerbund. And you know how they're like pretty low? There's like what is it, like three buttons? Yeah. <laughs> the one that they the one that they gave me, and I didn't realize it until the day of prom. It went like all the way up to here. <laughs> <laughs> it literally looks like Wait, they had you in like a girdle. You yeah. were looking like yeah. uh <laughs> like a, a straight jacket. Woman. Yeah. It was yeah. crazy. Your hips had I was so insane. mad. Yeah. I was pissed. <laughs> Are there photos of this? I could probably find it. You have to find it. It was way bigger than my friends. That's Taking those group funny. photos. It went up real high. It went up high. <laughs> That's preposterous. Picturing like the old way people used to wear their towels after they got out of the shower. Yeah. Well, how I do it now. Nips. <laughs> wear them up to the nips? I, yeah. I wear mine. I wear mine all the way up to the nips. Why do y'all wear a towel? Yeah. You, mean you're we- you guys right. are yeah, where you're wearing towels? Right below my towel. I put like, it, it up in the shower. Yeah. And I will, like, will walk to my bedroom like I'll scurry. And then I don't even want to get naked. I put my underwear on yeah. underneath of my towel. At home alone? Apartment. I literally did that today. I put my underwear on with the towel yep. on and then Why? put the shirt on. I don't what? Wanna, I don't want to see. I don't want to. I don't want to even. Yeah. I don't want to even catch a glimpse of myself. No. <laughs> you need exposure therapy what to do you yourself. Mean? Oh. You and you put dick? the towel on tight. Yeah. Yeah. Suppresses everything. So your you dick doesn't flop out. Oh, no, I don't no, want to see stomach. This, my this. body. My oh. torso. Boys, I'm usually on the same wavelength about the about that type of shit, but I'm walk I'm walking to my underwear drawer naked. No, I shower yeah. towel off, and I walk to my underwear drawer naked. You can't be naked in your own house. You have gymnophobia. Yeah, probably. You're never nude. I don't think I'm a never nude, but I try to see my dick three times a day max. <laughs> it's too little. You pee what times and don't look hey, at it. Hey you, <laughs> hey. Hey, Bradley. Hi. Oh, it's his birthday. Happy birthday. Bradley. Bradley. Happy Bradley. Bradley. Bradley's 21. Bradley. 21 in dog years. Nice. Oh, so that's mature. a savage so 21. He's so for his age. Wow. Stepped on him. Well, Kyle stepped on him this morning playing Wii Tennis. That's oh, what he uh, oh, was oh, going for a streak, and he ran in my ran in my way. I heard the saddest yell. Who put this and she was shit like, dog oh, here? <laughs> are you gonna apologize? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> dude, I was playing. I was playing sports games on the on the PS5. Dude, sports games are so goddamn boring. 
Uh-uh. I don't know how anyone Shut plays up. those. I was beating the computer 10-0 in MLB. Put it harder. I was trying to figure out how. I think I was on the max level. It's too easy. You were not on the max level. There ain't level. No, no way, way you were on the Dude, max those level. Those games, games are the hardest. max level. Yeah, anytime yeah, I play like Madden level. or something, I win like a thousand to zero. You're on, easy You're on rookie. Mode. Those games no are way. so easy. No, they're not. NHL. No, they're Dude. not. Fast. I don't know how someone can sit down well, and play. When the yak with you play in a game. I'll play a game. I'll oh, bring I mean, dude, game. you literally, MLB The Show might be the easiest game of all time. Because you're playing it on easy. Easy. I couldn't figure out how to make it harder. Oh, that doesn't your, mean that it's your an problem. Easy game. You're so bad at gaming, you don't know how to make it harder. <laughs> you don't know how to operate the settings. I need, I need a game with guns in it. Lots of guns. Yeah, baseball, I don't know how people play that. But uh, FIFA is like yeah, the, the elite uh, is so sports video boring. game. So boring. That's I, false. I like Madden more than FIFA. Really? I also I think Madden's also awesome. I, I think like that's NHL's like great. a lot too. So Mad- Madden has a toxic great? community. All of, all oh, yeah. video games do. Yeah. Actually, I, I will say NBA is pretty good. I think any free flowing game. That's why I like all FIFA. Because NBA is the one you go with. NBA is way. B- I think. How that's do you way play more NBA more with like people? Madden and I like a game where you can where you're passing it around and you're like controlling everything. About hockey, NHL. NHL is like good. soccer to me, yeah. brother. The, the best NHL games were the 2K ones, but I think they stopped making those after like 2K13. I know. Doesn't it give you... I was trying to explain to someone yesterday what it does to me when the door's a little bit open. It's distracting as hell. Yeah, I can't think either. Haven't these people ever heard of? Closing, Closing God the damn door, door no! <laughs> Robbie, you, how many concerts have you been in 2023? Not a lot, to be honest, this year. Not but a You ton. have stacked. More than everybody in here combined. Ten, maybe? Yeah. Ten in this year alone? Maybe, yeah. That's, that's, a, a, lot. that's a lot. That's a fuck time. That's, all, that's like Last almost two a month. A I think that's my lifetime statistics. Uh, can uh, you go through all the ones you've been more through? More than I've been to. List them off. Um, This year was... I can't even think of one I went to. I went State to All Time Low. Did you see Rage Against the Machine? That was last year, I think. I think that was the end of last year. I used to have a list in my phone, but I haven't been keeping it this year. A couple festivals. I saw... Um, who is the band I interviewed that I saw? Oh, Yellow Card. I just saw Yellow Card. Oh, they just... They're, what are the, did he say in his interview with you that they're selling fucking seven times what they've ever sold? Yeah. Which Why? Is crazy. Uh, he can't explain it. He's like... They retired in 2016. Retired in 2016. And they were selling out venues that were like maybe a thousand cap, like thirteen hundred cap, two thousand in California, and now they came back and they're selling out like six, seven thousand seat venues. Damn, Pounds they haven't put out. Nostalgia is uh, cheap. Yeah. yeah, and like the fans are ordering a money to spend. Afford, maybe yeah. I don't know. Actually, he said, but he was like, I can't account for it because even if that was the case, like even if they were all bringing their families and we're rich now, there's a, like a revamped nostalgia. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Ron, nostalgia is coming back tonight. Huh? How are you going to dance at Drake tonight? I've never been to a hip hop. That's why I was going to ask. What, 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 would, what is your move, either of you? That? Can you do one of Drake's moves, or is that like wearing a Drake shirt to the concert? Did you see the uh, video on Barstool's uh, that Barstool put up of all the women wearing the same glasses on their head? I didn't even know that was a fucking trend, but it seems like mean? a lot of people are wearing are like dressing similarly for Drake. Uh, they're all wearing like fucking wrap around sunglasses, like white sunglasses, like up on their head. Sports goggles? No, they're like the fucking I don't know. We it's it's on uh, Barstool's Twitter, uh, but there was like twenty people wearing it. It looked like they were like uh, in a bachelorette party, like all dressed the same. But I think yeah. they were all randomly. So I don't I don't think I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and do too much. I think when you're dancing, I think you should you, when you do like a little bit less is unless you're really Aries. fucking. Unless you're real good. I feel like also a white guy move is definitely it's mostly hands. Shoulders. It's all hands. One hand up. Yeah, one hand up. Then like imagine Spider at a Drake concert. Well, Spider is like a whole a whole vibe, if Dancing I may. Dancing up and down the aisles. Yeah, Spider is. See these. That's a thing. This, I didn't know. I had no idea that this was a thing. Oh wow. I had no idea. Really that strange. This was a thing. Urgh, this makes me mad. Yeah, well, we're like, <laughs> let's look at the comments. It's all like, all of them are the same. <laughs> yeah. I hate girls. Seen, uh, Twitter is <laughs> Twitter is feeding me like intellectual racists now, and like oh, intellectual, yeah. intellectual misogynists. They use big words and paragraphs. Oh, I thought you meant yeah. <laughs> it was very smart. They get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's a wild time. Where is he playing? Barclays or MSG? Barclays for the next couple of days, and then uh, MSG Sunday. MSG Sunday. Oh, nice. I saw Drake linked up with Bernice Burgos. Bitches are dumb. <laughs> Shout out Master Chief. Yeah. 
Who's Bernie's? Who's I don't Bernie? know. I just saw that on the Daily Loud page. Who's is a girl? I think so. They're calling him a groupie. Mm. Links up with whoever's hot. <laughs> I mean, he can f- have sex with whomever he wants. I agree, and I, you know he Fuck works me. it. Uh, what? He would crack you open in like a fucking coconut, dude. He would be inside of you in <laughs> less than five minutes, dude. Yeah. One stroke is all you need. He wouldn't even get One to One stroke eat. is all it takes. He would get to Julian Casablanca. <laughs> Half a stroke. <laughs> there was like some someone at like years ago, like a woman purported to have uh, had sexual relations with him and did like a detailed account and detailed that he was a very generous lover Even and that. that he had a cocaine. He had a what? Cocaine. A cocaine. Wide, oh. wide dick. Oh. oh. He also is famous for the hot sauce, right? Hot sauce in the condom. Make sure that oh, Drizzy? the girl can't yeah. poke the hole and get the, the, you know. And that's what we know about. Imagine what we don't. You know what I Those mean? Those things, yeah. Imagine the, the little tricks of the trade that he has that have never, like, really made it out. I know I'd be, like, fucking around with Drake, probably, like, trying to make him laugh, and he'd, like, put his... He'd, Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Nicky, enough. <laughs> You're wasting your time talking. He probably has... He probably would have, like inside jokes with you immediately. Yeah. I think his emotional intelligence has to be off the fucking charts. He's the best. He can just <laughs> walk up to you and say, what's up, Clicky? Oh my I God. guarantee he would. <laughs> I guarantee he'd be on some slick shit like that. That fucking bastard. My favorite Drake conspiracy theory was when, right when his son got unveiled to the world with the Push T song, Oh yeah. people thought maybe the son's name is Mabed. I thought it, I think it is. It's his middle name. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. No that, way. Yeah. What is the significance of that? What is he that? said? I only yeah. love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry, my bed. <laughs> and that's <laughs> literally the kid's name. No fucking way. It's is a that double. His real name. Look it up, dude. It's his. Yeah, because who would man. say I, I only love my bed? Drake. But people, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> my bed. No one ever talks about loving their bed. But yeah, after that, do. that summer, everybody was like, I fucking do love my bed. <laughs> <laughs> That diss track was crazy. Crazy. I push a T? Yeah. Well, OVO, OVO 40 that. hunched now over like he's 80. He can't even go to Canada, bro. He can't even go to can- to Toronto. He can't go to the ends anymore. Oh, no, can't do it? He's not welcome in the ends. He's not welcome on Spadina. <laughs> <laughs> what what sparked that? Why why did uh, push a T make that song? I remember when it came out. First, didn't he? Drady. Um, I believe Pusha T on so his album made a comment about Kanye and Drake. And Did Drake he? took a shot at Pusha and said, like, keep my name out of your mouth, and then Pusha went back. I think Did Pusha he? set up his own diss track. Whoa. Baited Drake into hitting a diss he track. Broke the, probably broke the track first. Probably. That's very naughty. That's very naughty of him. But I guess, I mean, that's it's a great time for Twitter. Diss tracks, yeah. It was. And there are still people who suck in Pusha T's dick that are like, yeah, you fucking best it. But he can't even go to the ends anymore, you know? Bias. Of course I am. I love Pusha T too. I open for Pusha T. Oh, what? Was he from I, Virginia? Okay. In uh, Philly. Uh, yeah, he was from Virginia. Seven five seven. And then like Black Dot, I think, came up at the end of the show. Damn. Like I, I like went on stage, like did a verse, called myself White Dot. Fucking legendary. This place called the Blockley in Philly. What's your fit? Uh, probably something tr- absolutely trash. Have you ever seen Roan's old rap battles and what they're all rocking? Like the really old ones. I pay attention to the lyrics. <laughs> you gotta watch the really old ones with Wallace in the background and he's wearing like a fucking sideways flat cap. <laughs> yeah. Like and one shorts. It's literally 2008. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Very stylish back then. Yeah. A flat cap and like the baggiest like airbrush tee or some shit like that. I yeah, I was the flattest Louisville hat. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Fuck yeah! I could definitely see you rocking like the Cookie Monster flat cap. Oh, I rocked that. You, you rocked did. the Cookie Monster. <laughs> yeah, you did. I actually had the Elmo. My friend Mike had the Cookie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> but there was dudes that would roll up with the the Cookie Monster and also the Cookie Monster T. Like they would wear the full outfit yeah, yeah, the and like some outfit. thick fat ass, ass glasses. Osiris's. Uh, yeah, some fat ass. Robert Domingo Cyrus. I'm pretty sure I had the Elmo shirt. Oh yeah. And I did the thing where you you went on picnic and you made the whole picture black and white except the hat and the shirt and you oh, made yeah. those red. Yeah. 
His ass yeah. had that flat bill with like the big metal word dope on it. <laughs> <laughs> and the shirt that just says cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> In massive font. Nah, uh, cool story, bro. Had a chokehold on society for at least a year. Uh, it was longer than that, dude. People were rocking that, and it, it, the, that's the good though. The, the if that started shirt. now, it would be f- it would be good. But that almost killed storytelling. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It almost killed oral tradition. I think it kind of did. <laughs> I think it kind of did. I haven't. Like, do we it. ever tell full stories? Any of us on this show? Not really. We're bad storytellers too. I used to have a hoodie that I got on the Jersey Shore that had a, a quote from the show Jersey Shore that just said, come at me, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good one. That's hilarious yeah. that they even claimed that quote. Is that, is that where that quote came from? No, but Ronnie used to say it, I think. Which it's funny saying something and it's like, this is my <laughs> phrase. Be like, let's go. Yeah. Attributed to Roan. Yeah. Let's go. It was one of those just black hoodies, white text, neon paint splatter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want to make a request of the NFL this year, and it's to get a dance to, that replaces the gritty after touchdowns. Okay. Do you think that that's fair? You think that the gritty mm-hmm. has had, gritty ha- has had three years. Getting warmed up. It's had three straight years of being the premier touchdown dance. You have suggestions? The human body can only do so much. Uh, have we done it all? I don't know. I think it's, I mean, then maybe we go back to like a fucking waltz or some shit like that. Everything is referential, like maybe some ballroom dancing or something. But we just need something new. I'm looking to see the picture of Kim Kardashian doing the cartwheel. No. No, but I'd like to. Crazy. Like, I don't know why. It's just, it's it's just a picture looks, or a video. Well, her proportions are strange. Yeah, they, and, and upside, she's short as hell. Like 4'11. Upside down, they're stranger. All right, we'll pull that up. Pull oh, yeah, up her was... Instagram. She posted it on Instagram. Paste. Just a normal. I need to see those. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Oh. oh. Not that oh. one. That one. Oh. Isn't that a weird picture wait, wait, for yeah. some you reason? See, look at it. It looks like it's like she's like at it for Lego 30 seconds. attached like <laughs> your legs yeah. onto her. Go back to, that yeah, one. this one. Hold up. Go back. Oh. Go back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Moving fast. This is a stop motion film now. Right one there. more. This that one. one. That one. Yeah, that looks insane. All right, let's, let's take- <laughs> <laughs> if you stare at it for a while. Yeah. Take 30 seconds on it. Now it becomes inhuman. Yeah, it looks like she. Ah! Looks like an MC Escher to me. It looks like yeah, it's Photoshop. Whoa. Some Dolly. Well, there's she definitely did paintbrush, but it looks like she's standing on the on her hair. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she's falling. Yeah. It honestly does look more normal like that. That looks way more normal. <laughs> yeah, because that's how. That looks insane. I saw that this morning, and I was like, "That looks weird." Do you follow her? Yeah. I think she can squat like 315 for reps. Uh, <laughs> but squat like yeah. Rayshawn Slater. Yeah. <laughs> she just squats with like the chains hanging off the sides. <laughs> she would have hazed the fuck out of some people at Northwestern. Bar is bending. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you see Nick Chubb squat yesterday? Oh my God. As a weightlifter, you have to appreciate how this dude I, was fucking squatting. Because they, I guess they bend the bar now. They do like a floppy bent bar. Oh, my God. Oh, there God. it is. Look at that shit. Yeah. He's a fucking skill my position. God. Can't imagine getting to the level of lifting where you have to have three spotters. <laughs> no. And also, like, really if he failed, they what would they be able to do? <laughs> Call next of kin? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it just in case in, if he passes out and falls back it so it doesn't go on his neck or something? I don't know. Is this a loop or is he doing five reps of this? I think it's a loop. Oh, okay. Wow. That's fucking crazy. I was telling you, the girls at the gym squat like crazy. They go hard. That's yeah. all they're doing. You know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen the dudes at the gym that do the they do the leg press and they put all of the forty fives on it and then they like they're they're doing it's too light for them still so they put they just like start stacking forty fives like on <laughs> random know, parts of the that. machine. Yeah. Anywhere that'll hold. It's like it. on yeah, just on top of the machine. But unless they got that great range of motion, I really don't respect it. <laughs> yeah. I need to see us. Yes, there really is no need to do that. That how, how strong do your legs need to be? Yeah. If you're if you're leg pressing like a thousand pounds, it's like you need you need to go to one thousand two hundred. <laughs> if I tried to squat like my asshole would shoot out of my body at like four hundred <laughs> miles an hour. Have you ever seen the videos of the dudes like shitting their pants squatting? Yeah. Those are good. Funny. Weightlifting. Oh, I oh, hate these Jesus. videos. Don't yeah. show me. Don't fail. Don't I don't want to see this. Like knee snapping. Oh my god. Like I hate the knee snapping. He's videos. just got. They're just. They're just stacked on the thing. You think his legs would be a little bigger? 
Oh, oh, oh. Wow, I'm shocked that something a happened when he did great, that. Uh, great leg press kill in the new John Wick. Really? Sick. In four? Yeah. There's a leg press kill, like yeah. on a machine? Yeah. What's your best movies this year? Final Destination shit. John Wick 4 is up there. John really? Wick 4 was so sick, yeah. Really? You saw it in theaters? No, I missed out. Of course, you hate theaters, I forgot. You watched Sisu <laughs> yet? Oh, yeah, yeah Sisu was sick. In notes, Ron, I did, I didn't watch it yet. Damn. It's fire? Yeah, it's real good. Fuck, I gotta watch it. Should I watch it alone, or should I watch it with wifey? Alone. Alone. Yeah. yeah you would have get it? It's a dude's movie. Yeah. It's got time. Yeah, I love that. Where's the romance? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Enough. Uh. She's crinkling the bag of Dots pretzels. <laughs> a rewind. Timing <laughs> her choose. About, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking infuriating. Are you guys, do you guys label the actors that you know? Like, hey, that's blank. Oh, he's from this. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. I pretend yeah. like I don't know. I was like, is that the guy from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not good at it, though. So it's just like, oh, what do we know him from? And then yeah. I pull up the IMDb. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. And that is never who I think it is. Never. I'm like, oh, that guy's been in nothing that I've seen. Yeah. Just, he looks like Matt Damon. But uh, what about, th- have you seen Avatar Way of Water? I did. I was underwhelmed. Really? Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. I thought it was fine. But way too long. Zoe Saldina? Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana, yeah. She was 23 in the first one, and when the last one comes out, she's going to be 54. Yeah. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. I, she hasn't aged a bit, though. Kate Winslet was in the new one. Didn't even realize that until a couple months after I saw it. Cause she, she, who does she play? The young Jamaican the, boy? No, she's one of the blue people. Really? Yeah. That's Winslet? And apparently they almost killed her on set. What? Yeah, James Cameron like almost killed her. There's like a scene where it gets flooded. And she was underwater for like seven minutes. It's hilarious that they actually put the actors underwater when it's all yeah. CGI. Yeah. Yeah, the whole movie CGI, but for that one. Like, no, no, we're going to need you to feel like you're almost dying. There is a drowning. Uh, there are like drowning ish scenes. Oh, yeah. I guess if you're in the way of water, there's going to be some shit like that. No there's spoiler. A, there's a drowning scene in Now You See Me, the Jesse Eisenberg magician movie that is real. Like, I, I think it's Isla Fisher was in the, the water tank and they could not get her out and the panic on her face is real and they left it in the movie oh wow she can <laughs> <laughs> oh God. is that a new movie no is it good it's a good movie yeah it's it's very watchable yeah um did you see the movie what is the fucking movie about the two uh korean kids and they like separate when they're young and then they get back together as adults did not see it no rushes on rotten tomatoes Audience and critic, I did not. It was it was elite. But I'm trying to see. I'm trying to get ahead of whatever the fucking Oscar movies are going to be now. What is the is Spider Man going to be an Oscar Oscar nom? Is it'll it it'll be good? for animated, but I don't think it'll really? break out of that. I saw some list that that was like predicting it to be a Best Picture nom. Tomorrow, me, Clem, and KFC are going to Barbenheimer. We're doing both. You're doing doing both? both. Wow. Yeah. Oh, is that like a big thing that people are doing? Because someone was telling me that they were like. They were like, do you want to go see both? And I was like, I think I, so. I was like, no, I would just go see open. It's the Hollywood. first time in history two movies have been in theater at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It seems like it. I was like, I don't really have much of an urge to see Barbie. I kind of do. I've been hearing it's great, but really, I don't. I can't tell if Barbie is gonna be like an Oscar movie or if it's just gonna be a fun people laugh at it movie. So what's it? It's doing well on Rotten Tomatoes. It's in like ninety four some shit. Projected to uh, make fifty million more than Oppenheimer. Do cutesy movies still do good on? Rotten Tomatoes, like that. I mean, this Asian one was cutesy as hell, and it fucking crushed. Is it called yeah. Split? No. Split? No, that's a... Uh, it's like Mr. Night Shyamalan and Unbreakable. Boy. Yeah, sorry. Pretty good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get into movies. 89, 94. We don't have any audience score for Oppenheimer. 89, went down still watching I've it. seen it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, three hours Long is tough. Trouble. I don't have it in me, man. You don't have it in you to watch the three-hour movie? Even for Nolan, movie? man? Don't have it in me. For Nolan? Don't have it in me. What about, like, uh, Blackberry? Will that get any Oscar noms? Loved that. That movie was so oh, good. I didn't see it. Oh, it's really good. I could see it. Or yeah, at least funny. some acting noms. I could see Glenn oh, no. Howard and getting an acting acting nom. Probably not, though. Yeah. Nah. He was so funny in that. He kind of played some Always Sunny. He kind of slipped into okay. character oh, yeah. a couple times. I don't know if that was on purpose, though. I mean, he's been doing that role for, like, 20 years, right? Yeah. Great role. Crazy how long that show's been on. The longest running live action show. Yeah. Tip of the fucking cap to them, to those fucking guys. 
Jonathan but I've been Walkers. watching the new season. New episodes actually out today on Hulu. It's been okay. Gotta go watch it. The last episode was really funny, I thought. Which one? The bowling episode. I didn't see it yet. Oh, it's funny. Damn, that sounds funny. Yeah, it does. That sounds fucking like hilarious. and shit? That shit sounds elite. What's good with the dozen? Honkers are in. Yaks in. Honkers are in? Yeah. Let's fucking go. Frank Etz, out. No! Yeah. No longer a team. That breaks my fucking heart. You guys had such a good run. Frank dubbed Pat Bev so hard. He's like, oh, you you're a legend. Pat Bev went up to him trying to, like, dap him up. He was like, well, Frank wasn't in the middle of a <laughs> game of Blitz, was he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was crushing oh. Blitz. He said, when I talked to him today, he was like, yeah, I was in the middle of a computer game. (laughs) 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 A fucking arcade game, a computer game. It's hilarious. This office is going to become just like a playpen. Like, there's not, like, we got games everywhere now. They're going to get a pool table. You got the Wii set up. You got the PlayStation set up. Pool table is going to be loud. It's a loud game. How do you play pool? It's just the clanging of the balls, I mean. I guess. You break, that's like bowling alleys next. (laughs) Oh, no. hearing pins. <laughs> <laughs> Someone could play pool next to you while you're sleeping and you wouldn't wake up. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah. No, dude, I don't pool know. Is it's pretty loud. 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 Gunshot Wait, after gunshot. I only, I've ever heard someone describe pool as a loud <laughs> game. Bro, pool is loud. It is, in a house, yeah. You ever been to a pool hall? So, like, every All the day. Time. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much every day. For- <laughs> <laughs> ever rip a couple cigs in a pool hall? It is loud in there. You got to yell. <laughs> yes, yeah, so no, I, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it is. silent in there. No. Yeah, it's like a library. Uh-uh. You think there could be a pool table in a library? Easily. There would be no complaints? <laughs> I mean, I guess no the break would anymore. be like kind of like. For the break, people think an earthquake went off. <laughs> <laughs> The break, the break is, is so the, loud. Like someone like opening a, or closing a book too loud in a library. No. <laughs> yeah. It's equivalent to 12 shelves falling in succession. I don't, <laughs> I don't know where I lie on this. I don't know if pool is Pool loud. table, pool. yes they are. Well, I don't know. Loud. YouTube, like just regular you pool play. table. Or just search on Quora, is pool loud? Pool yeah, can you Quora this please? Can we Maybe. chat GDP this? What is the what's wow. the decibels of a pool t- of a pool ball getting smacked? It has a big range. You could go from very quiet, especially and very quickly gets loud. Jungle. Let's hear it. Oh, this is a, this is a pool all people aren't playing in. Yeah. No, no, no. What what are they doing in the pool all for? Yeah, is it front? <laughs> oh, can you turn that the fuck down? <laughs> I mean, that was loud. I'm trying yeah. to think. About to burst. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just wait. You're gonna walk in getting here. a noise complaint for playing pool too loud. Can't tell if those were fireworks or a game of pool. <laughs> You're gonna think there's an active shooting the next time you walk in here. <laughs> that was like where Chris Kyle died. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. Well, then you can't find a video. No, I'm just playing it. You hear it? Oh, no, because it's so goddamn quiet. It's loud as fuck. You don't have your headphones on. I'm one foot away from him. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing it into the mic. It's, it's the conversation. It's really the conversation that fucking ruins it, and the prom- promiscuity of the. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll there. give you a good pool. A good pool sound effect. Do you have a soundboard? No, I'm gonna open up the pool. Remember soundboards? My phone. Oh, have, okay, yeah. Oh yeah. Soundboards. Uh, soundboards. Great. He was a big prank caller. Uh-huh. Clem was a soundboard maker. Did you know that? That was loud as fuck. That was loud. I just jumped. I just shit my pants. Oh. Kind of nice though. One more, one more. Uh, TJ, can you, <laughs> TJ, can you uh, <laughs> did you leave a comment to be like warning headphone users? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Warning well, first, rape, and then parentheses first. I think I might be wrong. I think it's silent as hell. All right, ready? Here, I'll break. It sounded like dentures closing. Yeah, that was nothing. <laughs> I'm going to go 100% max speed. Oh, silent. Oh, rest in peace, max working. speed. I must have turned the sound effects off. That was, was too noisy. <laughs> Here. <laughs> That's actually probably why. Oh, fuck. Did you hear that one? Pretty loud. Restart. We'll do a clean one. <laughs> clean break. Oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah. Sounds like a Tommy gun. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's Kevin McAllister lighting the firecrackers in a pot. Yeah. I've already moved to Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh god. <sighs> they do die out there. You just yeah. wait. We're gonna get that table. It's gonna be a battlefield. I know. I'm people are gonna be pissed, but people are pissed about everything that people happens. Are also, yeah. yeah. Like the couches are nice to sit on. I I've, I I've been it. feeling a brotherhood that I've never felt. Same. Free flowing conversations happening very I, easily. God forbid someone lies down on a couch. Oh yeah, you've Every been getting someone passed. Like, Why oh. do you you lie on the same couch facing the same way? What is yeah? What do you? What does that mean? <laughs> <It's your spot. laughs> lie down. But every time somebody walks through, like, it's like oh, comfortable, this guy. Kyle. Yeah. There's like nine other couches. He's I wish I had a desk. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know why all the dudes to the, like right there got to keep their desks, but we got all our desks. Well, those are, go those are going away soon. They really? said they, we got an email that says free for all. Dang. For now? It's not like they get, the, yeah, for now. And then they're going to assign desks. So I guess those guys are just coming in and they're, they're, they're early on it. Yeah, Enrique is going to assign this. I haven't I seen it in a while, though. Box. Have you been able to find your box? Oh, no, they hid the boxes. Hid the boxes? Yeah. At least as long as they search. have them. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Enrique is in charge of desks. I haven't seen him down in a while. The people in, in charge of the Barstool Awards, they're, like, giving out awards from, like, this like something that happened in, like, 2008 when everybody was wearing Cookie Monster hats, and, like, they all just started working here. They don't know the real Barstool. Nah, yeah, I gotta it. present something like an old ass thing, and I'm like, I am not the guy for that. Wait, Sass, I saw the run of the show. You know that you're you're presenting the last award of the night. Oh no, I didn't know that. Wait, did you see it? Yeah. Is he really? Which one am I presenting? Do you not know? That's weird. Mine's not even like a big one. What are the categories? Mine's just like a random category. It's Mine's the category. best OG barstool video. <laughs> it's a big one. That's a big one. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's a huge one. That's like the closer. Yeah, yeah, it's big. What else? We don't have should a I, best actor. Should I say them? Know, like, should I say them all? Yeah. You're the only one that really can't get in some. trouble, so. Why not? Yeah. Let him fly. Let him fly? Fuck it. Lamin's going to yell at you? Yeah. For the I record, mean, I'm him. telling you not to do it. They sent us the list. You could take Blatman in a fight. No way. No way. Depends I don't think so. Fight. Rough and rowdy? I think you're scrappy. No, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm cerebral, but that doesn't play in the same way when... But he has a plan until you get hit with a fat ass in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say who's presenting each one of them too? Mm -hmm. give, give a teaser. To give a couple. Don't don't. Yeah, give like woats and goats. Say what you say. Don't. I would just say the DJ? whole thing. What? Oh, I thought you said. No, you, you said don't. I don't I'm think not, it really matters. Yeah, I don't think yeah, it really matters. I mean, it's not like yeah. Show open. Dave monologue. Well, wait, can can I ask a question? Okay, yeah. you've said too is, much. Is there already. a is there a public? Are we selling tickets to it? I I mean, we're doing it at. A big venue. I don't know. I really don't know. It'd suck. I've heard both ways. It would suck to bomb. I think the idea was it to uh, it to be a VIPs thing, and then potentially like sponsors, and then potentially people. But I don't know if that's been decided yet. There's going to be something called Biggest Villain. That's one of the last ones. Oh, good one. And now it's just like do you have to be uh, currently working uh, here, <laughs> or huh? the villain of the f of the company. I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. Like someone we actually hate, or someone we endearingly hate. I hope. Yeah, who would you? Who is some people you, that are endearingly hated? Weirdest brand. Them? Like Brandon Walker is endearingly hated on the Yak. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. What about would someone? You say he's a villain. Like, say he's, he's a, a villain. He's a no, he's not a villain. He's not a villain. Like M Minahan, people would say is a villain. Oh, yeah. yeah, Minahan's a villain. Yeah, he is. I want to see and Smitty and Nate walking out of there like Adele with like awards yeah. fucking lining their yeah. hands. I need them to fucking win everything. Give us some categories. Um, Give us all the categories. Yeah, all of them. All right. And when they sent us that, did they say don't right don't send them? Did they say don't t don't They've tell anybody these? Secret. Don't tell them the winners. We don't. I don't know the winners. I just know I just have the uh, awards. I don't even know the nominees. So. It's, uh, most random hire, most disgusting display of athletic. <laughs> most <laughs> random, random hire. That's it's the first award. What a, for the what a treat for the trophy case that would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's for a job I didn't deserve. Yeah, I just got random really hire. Get it. No yeah. one really gets why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the first yeah, one. The first <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fuck hey, I guess. Who's, who's deciding? Yeah, I you, told you it's too. people who weren't here. You hoist Milton. that. <laughs> So this is random. <laughs> yeah, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? I'll tell you what. People are going to be very offended when like they w walk away from the awards and don't win an award. Well, I don't fucking uh, want that one. 
No, no, oh, no. But have, you take what you get. And you don't get upset, Nick. I don't know who Random it's going to be, but somebody will complain afterwards. Oh, like, oh, oh yeah. shit, what about Donnie, me. Donnie oh, already well. complained that he wasn't invited. Yeah. Yeah. We just got twelve. Even though he was couches in the office. Yeah, he was mad. invited. Yeah, yeah. People. I would probably cry if I didn't get anything. Second is uh, most I disgusting display of athleticism. What is the, the use of disgusting here? Like I slang for worst. Like, awesome. Oh no. I feel like it's like uh, no, no. Pirate Simon throwing a fucking KFC. something bad. No, who, no. Wait, who threw the fucking football? A weird Disgusting haircut. Seth. Weird though, because it haircut could be set. either or. Could I'm be trying like, to think of recent. Oh, that's ones. disgusting. Not here. Okay. Nobody here sees an a barstool employee do something like that was fucking disgusting, bro. Sick. <laughs> Some of these awards, none of these awards may be good. <laughs> yeah. <Disgusting. laughs> no, you're on these ones. Dundies again. They're fattest. <laughs> yeah. Fattest would be a tough lard. They'd have they'd be like pulling hair. To <laughs> like they like get the wrong envelope. Yeah, like different another, like, metrics. Yeah. But on another pot of coffee, we're gonna be up, up for a while. <laughs> <laughs> BMI or body mass? Are we going straight weight or weight to height? Yeah, but look at how he carries it. <laughs> Best sports reaction moment. Good. Okay. Good one. Worst beat. Worst what? Eat. Longest who does that let's go. go. The person who bet on it or do they? It's presented by the Barstool Sportsbook. Mm. Um, most electric. <laughs> most bananas. <laughs> <laughs> most Best bananas. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdest fucking freak brain. <laughs> <laughs> they get stuffed in the locker and send them home in a body bag <laughs> moment. <laughs> uh, best athlete fan. What the hell does that mean? Fan? Best sports fan? Like so that'd be like you for McGregor. Oh. Right? Or n- Just like a best fan of just yes? pure athletics. Or is it, or is it no, maybe it's George best. Kittle for Barstool? Oh, like yeah, that like makes that. sense. Oh, 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 okay. That would make sense. Merch award? <sighs> this <laughs> is going to be like I'm going to pull my hat out of the meeting. ring for that one. <laughs> Someone just like lift their shirt at the top? <laughs> this was the shirt? Who wins yeah, that? Whoever thought of... I guess for Rig- the Rigsy shirt. boy. Yeah. Old Rigsy boy for his... Yeah, Rigsy. Business acumen. The Big J Award. I'm presenting that one. Presented by Nick. What is that? The... Do we have... <laughs> <laughs> Best merch award. Oh, hell yeah. I would go with the Adirondack chair. Yeah. Who's who, Whose shirt is that? Yeah, whose is that? <laughs> Old Row. <laughs> There's a hat as well. There's a hat? You could be fully, well, you could be fully decked out in the Who Ate All the Pussy. I like the Dion Durag. Dion Durag. We sold those out. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, we said people to tag Trent in their receipts for them. Yeah. I honestly would wear the Who Ate All the Pussy shirt. That's funny. Yeah, it is. No, you wouldn't. Shirt. No, I'd you wouldn't. rock that for sure. No, the people wave. that bought those Durags, can you send a Trent a wave check and he'll approve it? <laughs> <laughs> I, want you! I want Trent to be like the Barstool Wave Review guy. <laughs> Let's see these waves. <laughs> uh, best athletic achievement. So that's the the good one. So I don't know most most disgusting display of athleticism. It's everything about athletic. Athleticism. Yeah, no, yeah, we're a bunch of bros in the frat yeah. house, brother. And I think because all of our egos need that. That's the stool. Yeah, we <laughs> the best athletic achievement. That's the stool. What for does that you? even mean? I think it's got to be me hitting that fucking shot in the act. Oh yeah, that probably will be it. It better. Smitty's gonna it's be the only thing I can think that of. One isn't him beating Chef. Yeah. Bore my uh, shoulder for this company. Best celebrity guest appearance. All right. Sorry, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> who, who's that gonna be? I don't know. Probably someone on like who rolled a through conversation or some shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. How's Bola? Bola? Gonna win it. Yeah. Who gets that award? As Bola. Like Kodak Black is gonna be there to <laughs> <this> award. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, who gets that? <laughs> Drake, like whoever made these. Drake doesn't go to the Grammys, but comes to that. Yeah. <laughs> Drake, get on up here. <sighs> Thanks to Clicky. <laughs> uh, dumbest decision award. Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> Why can't they just be normal awards? That's a good one. <laughs> I mean, no, that's actually what. That's what we should. Have. Yeah. It's not like best video or like best no. duo. No, so like Sasses is best video. Best OG video. Best so video of days. Best OG video, yeah. I think it's best OG video, right? It is. Worst, worst decision is only. Yeah. <laughs> worst. Cleanest. Stinkiest. Stinkiest. It's a uh, most Least emotional. Most, most, most emotional moment award. Riggs leaving. He's crying. Yeah. Uh, Grant, where's Graham award? Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn. 
The Shooting Star Award. What does that mean? Huh. I don't know if I fuck with that. That almost seems like they were like a flash in the pan. (laughs) Yeah. Like if you call somebody a star, but if they're a shooting star, they were around for like a half a second. Or is it just they're on their way up? Is that what they mean? Man, I don't know. You just celebrated your one year, right? I did, yeah. I could probably probably get that. Yeah. That would be big. If I got Barstool Shooting Star? Yeah. Yeah. What would you rather gun to your head? Gun to your head on your deathbed. Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, then, I, what that gun to the head doesn't matter if I'm on my deathbed. The wicked <laughs> scenario that would. Yeah. Gun to your head, machete to your throat on your deathbed. On my deathbed. Barstool beast jacket or barstool shooting star. Ooh. You're on your deathbed, so you can't wear the jacket. Dude, I just know a girl would steal that barstool beast right out of my closet. Yeah, you can't lose shooting star. The Young Dolph Award. You can't take that away from me. What do the awards look like? Do we know? Stools? Are they golden stools? I don't know. Best song slash performance, best TV appearance, best What's biggest upstairs? biggest barstool fight slash rivalry. Oh, I'm presenting that one. I keep thinking this is within the this is all time. All right? time. Oh so yeah, there's like a lot the, to choose from. Yeah, yeah. this will be good. Uh, biggest villain, best OG video. That's it. That's all of them. That's all the awards. Then we take a bus back. Yep. Uh, all together, like a. Single A baseball team. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely not going to do that. You have to, or actually, wait. Do we have to be on the yak the rest of the no. week after that? I'm probably going to stay in Boston. We don't no. have Thursday and Friday yaks that week. I think. I think me and Kyle moved to Chicago the next day. No, we really? got a big day. Yeah, y'all are Jesus. doing it together. Well, we're going to try to share a truck to make it cheaper. I think. Yeah, we don't have much. Are you guys driving? Uh, no. We're, we'll probably just hire a mover and then fly. Speaking of, Kate is driving right now. Yeah. She's oh, in actively? the throes of a drive. Yeah. We should get her to call in and, yeah. and see see if she should give us maybe an update or some shit like that. Maybe I'll text. Oh, man, I've been farting like crazy over here. You guys been smelling it? No, not, not over either, here. But Good. Is it why, why are you farting so much? You weren't drinking beers last night. Hey. I was drinking beers. You're itching last a little night. bit? Probably just a little bit. You're itching a little bit? In the hole? Yeah. No, Probably I don't have it in the hole. You sure? Yeah. Probably a little bit, though. Not even a little. Let's see. Not even like a tiny bit. Let's smell. Why would you want to smell? Do a scratch and sniff. Scratch your asshole, and if do you, if your fingers stink, then your hole stinks. Your asshole always smells. Mm. Uh, that's not true. Nope. If you smell my asshole, asshole right now. asshole always smells? No, no, no. no, no. Yes. Oh. Wait a that's minute. That's not true at all. There's all... An asshole no. never smells like nothing. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. No way. It does. Sometimes. Yes, it does. Sometimes. Put in the reps. It, it can smell Put in like the reps. asshole. Right after a shower, it smells like nothing. Or nothing. like like soap. Like the back of my hand smells like soap right now. Skin. Or like skin, like yeah. clean skin. There's never a lack of. Kind of smells like a asshole. tongue. <laughs> no, no. T- tongue is the no, 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 no. tongue is more disgusting it's than asshole. The roof of a mouth. Maybe right after someone was eating the ass. <laughs> oh, come on, Sass. Does your asshole always have a smell? I think everyone's asshole always has a smell. Have you smelled it yourself? No. Then how do you know? How would I have smelled it myself? How so would you know? How would you know? Gun into like a scorpion position. <laughs> I guess you could touch your fingers. Scorpion. Scorpion. Fucking scorpion. Unbelievable. Oh. I just texted Kate. Jay tweeted that someone at the park just made fun of my shirt. I saw that. What? A, who's going to the park and making fun of adults' shirts? Yeah, I don't think that. I don't know. It'd be hilarious if this is a tank a top. He was wearing the "Who ate all the pussy" shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck would make fun of this. I could see someone being like, "Oh, where's your sleeves?" Maybe, but like that's the only thing I could picture. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I could see how he could get made fun. Where's of. the rest of that shirt, brother? What does he look like? <laughs> he looks like an archetype of something that I can't even put my finger on. Um, uh yeah, that the first comment maybe. Uh, I don't know. He's got enough five o'clock shadow that I don't know. It's an interesting look. I like that look. He looks strong. He does. Fucking Che always on fucking vacation, man. No fucking work ethic. When's he moving out? I don't know. I don't know either. Know. When do you go to Montauk? Friday after the show. Good shit. Good shit. Just two days there. It'll be fun. Yeah. Is it going to be good weather? It's going to be beautiful. Just get a, a little bit of a tan. I haven't really got that much sun this summer. You going to see Drizzy? I don't think so. I don't think he'll be there. I think he's going to be playing for Nick. That 
sucks. He would love Montauk. That's how you're about to dance? Dance. That's how you're going to dance, Robbie? That's how I would dance if I went to Drizzy. What's Aubrey? like the. When what you go to a concert, page? do you drink a lot? Do you get fucked up? Me? I feel like you'd have to piss a lot. Yeah. No, I don't drink. I, well, I sometimes I do, but very rarely. Yeah, we were trying to guess uh, on a show like what your vices were. Weed. Okay. You don't drink? I feel like I've seen you drink. I, sometimes I do. I'll have a high noon here and there, but like... You don't get like fucked up? No. Oh, speaking of, bro, high oh. noon. Tequila seltzer. Love have you it. Have you, you done the tequilas? Yeah. They're fucking fire. What's your go-to flavor? For the tequilas, lime. For the regulars, peach. Yeah, the lime are my favorite for the tequilas, followed by grapefruit. I it, like grapefruit. Yeah, I mean, passion fruit. I like the straight also, lime. And, the, and then the strawberry is also just like... Strawberry just has that novelty factor that really knocks people's socks off, but 100 calories, gluten-free, perfect for a cold day. I uh, had friends over a while ago, and I, I ordered too many high noons, but I bought Such them. Such thing? Well, I, I, too many for that weekend, and uh, oh, but I, I, I bought them. Uh, I didn't buy them cold, so uh, I'm about to take them to a new apartment and uh, put them in there. I'm going to pregame in my new apartment before I move in. And uh, I'm, I'm going to have some high noons and have a fucking night. Let's and uh, you can do the exact same thing. Go to Drizzly or your local convenience or liquor store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find some high noons near you. I'm getting, I'm moving into a new apartment uh, soon, and uh, I need a chair. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what even kind of chair to I get. I know your ass is going to Eames. I know you're no, going to no, Eames. Is, Francis has an Eames, and he's like, I'm not about to buy an Eames. Like, I'm moving into the Francis building. Oh, are you? And so I'm not going to have an Eames. You'd be the only person in that building that doesn't have an Eames. And I can't have an Eames. What is an Eames? What's an I'm Eames? Not aware of what it's an Eames. This is it's rich the, people's shit. An Eames is the chair. It's like, yes, yeah, the like lounge chair. You guys it's have the probably chair's seen chair. it. Let's talk price. So you're looking for the like figures? A, Yeah, you're looking for your chair to like settle into. Yes, I want to leave. Uh, uh, well, let's Eames. pull it up so everybody can see. I want see an Eames. It. Is an Eames a four figure chair? It's yeah. gotta be. Got it's it. gotta be. It's like ergonomically perfect. It's the most perfectly designed chair. You have one? No. Francis it, has one. Oh my God! Yeah. It's a Herman Miller. Yeah. This oh, those thing? chairs. Yep. Suck. Oh, it's a Herman Miller. We're Seven, sitting on Herman 7, Millers back 000? here right now. Oh, uh, these are Herman Millers. You guys have no, Herman like, Miller the in, office in ones. The yeah. Studio. Yeah. You can find those on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, are you guys sure? Dollars. I'd rather sit in a Lazy Boy. These are yeah. eighteen hundred in here. An Eames. Is what are we a, looking a at? Status. What makes it Eames? What it's makes the guys last? Herman Miller. What makes it six thousand eight hundred bucks? It's made by Herman Miller. Is Francis has one of those. Francis has two. Francis oh, was just so. Do you think that there's cheap Eameses? Like, like, uh, what's the? Could you type in maybe Eames like dupe? Eames dupe. Oh, go to Wish. For sure. It doesn't look like a comfy chair at all. They are, but they're more of a. It's more it, of a status an art look. An art piece. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> it really is. It's like, oh, you have an Eames chair. chair. Oh, so your mom I would, I would rather just get like a use or soaps. Is it? Yeah. Chair. I'd rather just get chair. like a big, like a big leather chair. Yeah. Agreed. Like a, uh, maybe even like a used one, real broken. Lazy in. boy. Yeah. Damn. Does Eames have like bloodhounds? They sh- do they shut down the dupes? Oh, That's fucking crazy! I want, so I want to spend four four figures on my cat. I don't know what to get her. <laughs> you want to spend four figures yeah, on your cat? That's the that she uses the apartment way more than I do. DJ search thousand dollar cat toy. Or better. Or like, uh, up, why don't you just make? Up, up. Why don't you make uh, like up, up, a tunnel up, system up. for three thousand dollars? Up, up. Six thousand dollar down. <laughs> if about four k for a cat. What can I get? Search a four thousand dollar cat tower. Yeah, the t- it's gotta be like a tower or a system of like uh, like Honest. tubes and like Whoa. pipes that they can. Uh, like a cl- cat yeah. playground. I need something. He's gotta start leaving me alone. So it's becoming a problem. Why don't you just buy high end fish for the cat? Mm. She's not eating my pate. She doesn't like pate. Has to be gravy. I like pa- dude. Should we order some pates? What should we order, Nick? Oh, Kyle. There we go. Oh, look Ooh. at that. How big is this? We got. Honestly, oh, oh, yes. Kyle. Oh. I want that. <laughs> I don't know if it's big enough for what you're paying. Though. Is that a tiny cat? Or it's it's four thousand dollars. Oh, lighting. It looks nice. Oh, is she? That rules. I need it. <laughs> I want to throw like a sweet sixteen <laughs> style <laughs> party for. <laughs> <laughs> think your cat's gonna make it to sixteen? That one is yeah. that style of party. Don't cats live soon. for like thirty years. Yeah, thirty? Right? Yeah. I thought twenty. Maybe twenty. I thought they lived for a really long time. <laughs> Look at that cat in there. 
We gotta put our. <laughs> <laughs> KB, what does your cat look like? Uh, black. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I could picture it perfectly. Big ears. The, the ears are too big. She'd get made fun of if like she had peers, <laughs> or like humans. The ears are so big, like you can cover her eyes with them. And you I ever flam her for them? Yeah. What you say she's cute. I think I like cats. I like all cats. Yeah. I just got in trouble for saying the award stuff. Oh, did you? By who? I was on that text. Blatman. Just like I said, I said, who's going to yell at you, Blatman? What do you say? <sighs> it was the cat. I mean. What the fuck, Roan? Well, that sucks. They're going to have to redo all the award, all the no. awards. Roan, you look stressed. Yeah. I you just got in trouble. <laughs> that was like screamed at? Yeah. Or just what part of keep this private didn't you understand? Uh, that was the thing we both said. I'll I'll. I'll Jump in the hole with you here. We both were like, they didn't say keep it private. The final text said, please keep this private. Yeah. Why did you get? I didn't get that. Because we gotta do. We're. I shouldn't even say anymore. Yeah, you got. Yeah. Silence it was nice yourselves. working with you guys. Yeah. Hard to stop you. Oh. Well, I guess we'll start looking for apartments in Chicago. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Apologies, you know, and that's a deep drive to left. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie. Did you see he th uh, fought for Scooby Doo being a superhero? Blatman? No, Nick Cast Cast. Oh. Uh, what's his, how do you say his last name? Castellanos. 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 Yeah, Castellani. He, he thinks uh, he fought for Scooby Doo to be a superhero. I would say no. What do you Why? Mean he fought? He's a dog. He's a talking dog. He made a what point. What did he do to fight? I don't know exactly what. Would he you said. say that I read an that animal line. talking is a superpower? I would say no. I, I think it would. But he does more than that. No, he doesn't. He solves crime. Like Batman. But he, he could... Th that's just because he has a personality, and that's what he enjoys as a hobby. That's not a power. Like Batman. Not quite like Batman. I feel, I feel like the most world's dogs can solve crime, though. Yeah, you're right. Got, like, good noses and shit. He snacks, too, yeah. So does Batman. He does... Well... Have you ever seen Batman eat a snack? Yes. He does in the most recent one. He eats blueberries. <laughs> the Pattinson one, yeah. When he wakes up. Seen him... God, you're a so dork. espresso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for having me on the app. Yeah, Rowan, you feel? Um, are, are you yeah, good? I feel like an play idiot. Sporkle. Let's Dude, play are, Sporkle. Are you, Robbie, I I actually have to uh, go do spin and backfist. What time? Two thirty? Yeah, can't lie. Prep. Can't lie. It was two. Don't fib. If it was to, you can, you can. I feel bad that Jack and Big Ever are waiting for me. I'm having a blast. Oh, they're right. waiting? Yeah, all right, just all waiting right, on right. me. You're so. good to go. All right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you, Bob. Want me to get somebody for you or no? Kyle picks. You can get Kyle, somebody. Kyle's our booker. Who are we going to have to replace Roan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are tight right now. I've never seen you like yeah. this before. This isn't the classic I don't give an F Roan that I know and love. Have I ever said I don't give an F? That's kind of your, yeah, that's kinda your you've shit. You've been earnest, yeah. You give an F, you've, and you have admit it that you do. Yeah, I care. Whatever. Can't put toothpaste back in the tube. Facts. Toothpaste is fucking everywhere now. Right. Slipping and sliding on the toothpaste. Yeah, we, we gave everything, too. We gave it all. Mm-hmm. No, no one knows who's presenting. No one knows any nominees. The, the categories. Come on. Yeah, maybe now, like, the fans can vote. Maybe some, now people, more people will be talking about it. That's all I was trying to do was oh, you're get to some uh, conversation. Engagement, about engagement, this. engagement. You're on a talk show every single day. <laughs> they go two hours of talking. It's material. You were doing your job, man. EJ, you want me I to? I did try to stop. You want to play and meet type? You did. I, I did text Black. I always wanted to. You were doing it. Be the type guy. Sure. <laughs> yes. You're gonna type? No, you gotta play. What are you I talking about? Type today. No, what? No, you gotta play. What are you talking about? Type no, 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 no. You can't no, no, want no, TJ no, to play. Yeah. I mean, I want TJ, I want TJ to, play, to play, but, but I, I want you want to. I you also have to play because you're like the you also, have more wins than anybody. Booze is our typer. Oh, oh, but oh, booze. Is, yeah, oh. yeah, you're typing. <laughs> <laughs> Can TJ play from in there? I think. Yeah. Does TJ have the answer key? You don't cheat. As long as he doesn't fucking cheat. I won't cheat. Maybe, maybe we extend the olive branch to Blatman and have him play. <laughs> no, I don't want to yeah. see Blatman. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Wait, what? You, he was the one who yelled at you. Yeah. What did anyone else jump in? Huh? Did anyone else jump in, or just what? Him? Yell at me? Yeah, like did anyone oh, no, join it was in? No, group chat of where he had sent it to. Oh. And I screenshot. I wasn't looking at the group. You chat. deny it. 
yeah. So you didn't do it. So yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't do it. It wasn't me. They were like Can't be moved. Stars. Have you ever been close to being fired? But I care about like uh, doing the wrong thing. It's not like I'm just flippant about it. Yeah, <laughs> Try I think that'll ultimately be for the best. What will this incident we get people talking about it? Yeah, true, true, true. I mean, are we going for a live stream of it? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the fuck up about that and talk about Sporkle. Yeah. I was hoping to order some food. I was hoping to order some pate. Let's order some pate. I've never had pate. How much do you think the founder of Sporkle is worth? You think Ooh, at more than five million? Dollars? No, not more than five million. Not more than five million. Does Sporkle have a merch store? Um, I don't know. Matt Ram. Matt, Matt Ram. Thinking of John Rom. Sass, you're yawning today. I'm tired. How late did you stay last night? Burning the uh, late. Yeah? Yeah. When was your last show? Were you on the 12 o'clock? No. There was no 12 o'clock. Fuck. I'm an idiot. On the Friday and Saturday. Were you gaming? No. Were you listening to Drizzy? Listening to Drake. I've been listening to a lot of Chopin. Hmm. Chopin? What type of shit is he singing? He's not singing. He's composing. Yeah? What, do, what does the music make you feel? Uh, I don't think of anything. That's got to be nice as hell. Yeah. I'm trying to achieve that. I just can't. You can't not I can't have any not thoughts? I think. Even when I d- try to... M- I'm either asleep or like half asleep or thinking hard. You should read. That you're not really in your you're not it's not your own thoughts, and your brain's I guess forced to think about imagery I guess. Yeah, I need something. Sass, did you get Rona book? Yeah, he did. Did yeah? Have you cracked? Whoa! It open? Did he appreciate it? I don't think no. so. Yeah, that was your big thing. He was pissed that I didn't appreciate it, but that's quid pro quo though. Truth. You've been not appreciating everything that I've given to you. It's only right that I didn't appreciate it. The hell does that mean? It means he fucking made you and you're not even... <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the material gifts that I've given to you. Appreciated all of them. You uh, didn't no, read I the book? Saw, I, I saw the, the book, book was bad. The, the book, book was a bad uh, gift recipient. You were, you were a bad boy. And with the fucking Detroit sweater. You've gotten me three things and they've all been stuff that you got in like Hudson News at the airport. <laughs> it's a nice gift. <laughs> I think that's nice. That's thoughtful. I thought about you. And but that's you got the reaction. That that's the exact reaction that you wanted from me. I don't want any reaction from you. I don't put that onus on you to react in a certain way. It was like a, it was thankful. like a workshop book, like self help with like, like an unfuck your fuck type of yeah. book. From the prep sheet, it says Jersey Jerry says sex may be overrated, but football is not. What do you guys prefer, sex or football season? Football season, not even sex or football. Um, <laughs> one of those oh, things I sex? come. Yeah. Oh, uh, the other, not so much. The other sex. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I don't know. That's probably, <laughs> probably sex. Yeah, probably sex. Probably. You guys doing any shows for football season? Oh. Better be in the sports office. No, I'm trying. Just gonna try to follow it. Football. Yeah. You're going to be doing the fucking live streams. I know it. I don't know about that. You better be at the fucking the live streams. I like stats, so. Who's your squad this year? Who's your football team? Um, f- I think I'm back on the Jets. That's my team. That's been my team. I gave up on them, but I'll give them four weeks. You made a really good point about why Why would people watch bad teams? Like, you don't listen Root to for a bad band teams. if they're bad. Yeah, even if it's my hometown band, if they suck, I'm not going to go to their concert. Yeah. I think why it's because, w- like, then you hope that one day they'll be really good. And then you can be like, I was a fan the whole time. But if you hate all the players and the players are trash and they don't bring you enjoyment, that are you actually a fan? Don't come at Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know about Tyler's night last night. Yeah, Tyler went to the box with the crew. 
with your team. I don't know. That's why I don't know if five. you want to talk about it or not. I've been you didn't to the box before. How was it? You said that you saw an asshole stretch to its Explicit. Maximum. I saw a man's, the absolute limits of a man's asshole. Like, I've never heard of this place. Ooh, what is the crowd reaction when this shit happens? Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> Ew! No, it's more gasps. Um, but is there any... The what do they like to see? I imagine a lot of people just like sitting around in silence, like really focused. No. Drinking like a scotch. Is there like club music it playing? It starts at 1 a.m. Okay. Uh, doors open at midnight. And you have to you have to get tickets. You have to get like a table. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's it's uh, this I went and this woman came out and just like stapled, uh, caution tape to her naked body, started bleeding. Okay. And put a gun in herself and then started squirting people. That rules. And then a guy I saw him like come out. It was a man with breasts. Okay. Or a woman with a dick, and um. He's like had his soft dick stretched. Right. It was like a taffy pool, but it was like it was. So like, it's like torture porn. Yeah. Why would you pay to yeah, go? Yeah, see right. Uh, handsomely too. I'd rather just watch him tease. You it. have to be friends with like somebody who has a million dollars. You could probably go sit in the balcony, but not like a rich person thing. You wouldn't get any dick blood on you. Did you wait? Did you guys see the people, the protesters at the golf course? No. <laughs> what type of shit were they it was on? In like the Hamptons. Oh, what was it? Oh, they, they actually had some creative <laughs> shit going. They're protesters. Right. Yeah. Have you seen the the people that are protesting with the orange paint? And it's like, <laughs> oh hell yeah! That was terrible. That was the worst tweet I've ever seen. You pay a million dollars to him like that? Are you kidding me? You got to be kind of rich to even get to the hand. Yep. Oh, so these people are like they didn't take the fucking public transit out there. What is the point of this? They're just pissed. Yeah, I think, like, environmentally or whatever. Because golf courses are like against golf water. water. Yeah. We need clean air. We need clean People all suck so much. <laughs> I hate all of them. I hate all of them. That guy in the orca thought he was doing something. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. I can't believe them. Well, I think that's the Gotta get push that the Congress n Congress needed to tax the rich. We heard your jingle, and we've decided to make a change. Tax the rich. Tax the mother. Yeah, there's rich. no like right. What would, what's the best move you can make? Not as, that as a golfer in that situation. Tee off at them the way that they did in Jackass. Uh, you would have to do that. Uh, come back tomorrow. Yeah. With unlimited money. It's like being it's like being in the front row and someone doing crowd work. You just got to be like, all right, yeah. But you can't. But you're just not going to be unfazed. You're gonna be phased. But uh, you can keep that to yourself. Yeah. Instead absolutely. of like go getting in their face. Right. And like, what the fuck are you gonna do? Exactly. And you just walk on that easily. I'm sure when there's a swarm of them. And they that guy with the forearm the tattoos yeah. playing. <laughs> He's probably not that rich. The guy with the forearm tat, the older guy with forearm tattoos, he looked like a blue collar guy who worked his entire life just to be able to have a fucking Sunday off to get a crack at playing golf at a nice place like that. What do you think the fourteen year old boy working at the front desk thinks when he sees the guy in the, getting out of his car in an orca costume? <laughs> Those guys always <laughs> think they're killing it. Yeah. Headband. He deserves a future too. <laughs> <laughs> Just some child who gives people like Diet Cokes and Snickers bars. Yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> dude, dude, yeah. Like, some 16 year old girl, like, the running the bar cart. Yeah, she's like, You make, you guys are richer than me. <laughs> you leave me alone? The Whale? old man security guard, the friendly old security <laughs> guard, the greenskeepers, who all make like $5 an hour. <laughs> If you have a problem with Mexicans, then who's going to keep the greens? <laughs> have you thought about that? Who's going to keep the greens fresh? <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. And then like Protesting like that. Protesting. It's <laughs> just hot outside, so people all over the world are protesting like climate change yeah. by like being in France and sitting in front of like a blue-collar worker's car on the way to work. 
Yeah, see the people. But in France, they drag you out of the road, though. They'll just run you over. They'll pull you by like your hair. Yeah. <laughs> PJ, can you find the one that was spraying orange paint? That thing looks so much fun. I I've seen that. I think she rigged a, uh, a fire extinguisher, but with orange paint. Looked like the Kids' Choice Awards. One guy cemented his hand to the ground, and then like a firefighter was like trying to like chip it off, and he was like, "Ow!" <laughs> Win it. They used epoxy mixed with like <laughs> cement, and those guys are like losing their fingers now. Yeah, yeah. People might have to have arms amputated. I don't think that's the one I saw, but what is she doing? She's out of paint. She <laughs> she's going bucket. She very poorly anticipated how much paint was in that can. <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, one can's definitely oh, enough, shit. right?" Holy shit! On the glass. Yeah, this one looks awesome. Oh, I want oh, that. I want it so bad. Yeah, that that's awesome. I saw that. What is that doing though? What are you pro what are you doing when you're doing like uh the orange paint is I guess fucking up the bit. <laughs> it's covering the building. Yeah, but like what is she what is she getting out of doing this? They have to now like a minimum wage worker has to <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely. The dude who's in the middle of cleaning the toilets had they're like, you guys got another job for you after that. Yeah, we're you're gonna work late today. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we need you to skip dinner. <laughs> they also, did that to like the Walton's yacht recently, and it's just like the yacht crew has to do it. Like, it's they're not sending the CEO of this company out there to clean to, yeah, to clean the think, window. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. It's an anti-oil <laughs> protest. So it's gonna be clean. What are the odds this is oil-based paint? A lot high. Or oil-based clothing, or oil like, you're not helping anything. That's so fucking preposterous. Yeah, that is hilarious. What? Yeah, do you think they think that they're like sending out like wherever they are? They're sending out some fucking oil. God, out there to fucking clean the clean the windows. The tycoons, yeah. yeah. They gave it to Some dude. Is worth twenty billion dollars. Gonna go out there on his hands and knees. Who's the woman from the Walton family? She married Stan Kroenke. I don't know, but they were spraying down her yacht, like the back of it, with like red paint or something like that. She, when they told her about it, if they even did, she definitely didn't even like stop chewing the child embryo she was eating. She <laughs> yeah, just yeah no, like, didn't it was blink. It. It was just good to go. Like, I don't give a fuck. Doing a keg stand on the yacht with a adrenochrome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, Chuck. She just comes back like a teenager. <laughs> Whoa. You see that one dude, that, like, rich guy who's, like, spending all his money on being y looking younger? Uh, I feel like I've heard about Oh, he's this. trying to reverse his aging, isn't he? Something like that. Uh, trying to get, like, his internal age down or some yeah. shit? Or? He's, like... Doing some shit with his son. Oh, what's he doing with his He son? might be drinking his son's blood. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that. And, like, his grandfather was drinking his blood, too, or something? Was yeah, like, he's getting clown, but I'm about it. If you're going to be rich, I think that's something that wise to spend your money on. If, you want, if you're that rich, why would you want to die? Exactly. Yeah. Doing everything he can to fund, like, longevity studies and shit. He's a weirdo, but... If you're living in a slum, like, yeah, you're not going to do the holistic stuff. So why would you want to live? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus. No. Slums are probably fucking... The, the happiness of somebody who actually lives in a slum is probably way higher than a dude who was born into wealth and has no job. Oh, my God. Oh God he's been... Oh, didn't oh, even look at me. Look at that it. I, says, I just had to fucking... <laughs> what part of... <laughs> don't you understand... They have to have an emergency meeting now. Like, yeah. yeah oh, he's running. Oh, this. God damn it. <laughs> they're running around. I haven't seen this fucking frenzied yeah, response. <laughs> Look at what you caused. Yeah, they had to scramble the jets, dude. <laughs> Since Sass got on the phone and yelled, Game's Mayday. From the Hamptons right now. <laughs> <laughs> he did God what? damn it. Gaz <laughs> is whispering <laughs> in his ear as, as Dave's reading a book to a classroom. <laughs> Roan just said that. <laughs> Roan just away sneaky the athletic moment. Party. <laughs> the sneaky athletic. We got to do something about the sneaky athletic. <laughs> <laughs> sneaky, ta sneaky talented has been spoiled. <laughs> Repeat. The most talented. random hire is over. <laughs> 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 that was random. Random. What the fuck have I done? What's your speech like if you win that? Or should we stop talking? <laughs> I don't care. I don't. I don't know. I do care, but. I don't know what the speech would be. Thanks. Yeah. I guess. When I got the call, I was like, why me? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they said. So. We all collectively as a company agreed that you're the one that didn't make any sense. <laughs> we still don't get it. 
That would suck. Yeah, not when you will win. Put that bitch on your fucking mantelpiece next to your future Emmy. Oh yeah. That's what I see. Start using that as my credits. Sass is brought up on stage. Screen. I'm telling you that. (laughs) Made for movies. You remember him from Most Random Hire. It's Bill Sass. You've seen him on Most Random Hire at the Barstool 20th anniversary. (laughs) (laughs) Performs all around New York City. (laughs) Woo! Good shit, guys. Good, Good fucking shit. When's the pate getting here? Barstool Carl tweets asking people's opinions on hand jobs. Sound off, says Stephen Che. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get down to it. Hand jobs. Love them or hate them. <laughs> Go Nikki, around the room. Why don't you kick us off with this one? I give him four fingers out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Roan. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> stop, Sound stop. off. <laughs> you got to stop. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's with Pete now. Bank take oh. little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Big bank oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> look at <laughs> Oh, you made him laugh. Yeah, he's smiling. Oh, we good. I think he just likes to get mad. I think he likes to... I mean, when people are in positions of authority, it's fun. The thing that uh, affirms who they are is being able to exercise that authority precisely. People feel more like themselves when they're exercising authority. So you'll see people overreach their authority or use yep. it in in ways that don't require the hard use of authority. But it's really just an affirmation. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, I never seen him actually get mad. He got mad at us more of a LARP the, when we put out that swastika sketch for Out of Order. And he just repl- we sent him the episode, and he just replied, oh, "Hey you, fucking yikes, guys!" <laughs> Is hey you the fourteen year old boy? Hey, buddy. I mean, that's got to be most random. <laughs> 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 Come get your award, <laughs> boy. He's got X's on his hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, has to be. <laughs> just waters on stage, hair all messed up. Um, I was supposed to be here. Pretty much my parents said I had to work at an ice cream shop or I could work here. I guess Isn't that what he I said? Guess I chose this one. Yeah. I said this one, so I guess this is fine. I was going to work as four guys landscaping or here. <laughs> Dude, now we're spoiling this TikTok video, oh, too? Yeah, we are. We're assholes. And that was a banger. That was a big TD. That was an incredible throw by Big TD. That's just a little preview of what you're going to be getting in the future of the New York office. A lot of shit like that. Well, Diego just had had the ball hit him in the face. Damn. Now that shit's funny. Now that shit's fucking hilarious. I can uh, I can't wait for my fucking pate later. Tax the rich. Tax the yeah. fucking. It kind of had a. They, at least they were like catching were, it, and they were very uh, like they were in unison. It was good. It was wasn't it wasn't really all over the place. Yeah, it wasn't it was, they it all was, went to theater school. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> you may remember him from the Montauk protests. <laughs> Lil Sass. Racist, sexist, anti-gay. What were Racist, the- sexist, <laughs> anti-gay. No, son. Wait a minute. Wha- wait. No, versus, that was the no, that USA. was the Trump one. Yeah. No, what the fuck was that one? No KKK. No, it's not. The fascist USA? Yeah. yeah. Motherfuckers don't even know what fascism is, dude. That's just a juicy ass thing to say. Yeah. Facts. If people would open their fucking ears, they would understand that's actually a pretty smart idea. <laughs> With the sunglasses on. <laughs> you need to get in, find a, a car and get a selfie of yourself and make that your profile pic. <laughs> <laughs> They would learn that fascism is actually pretty fucking smart, and here's the science that backs it up. Why don't you go try to buy a box of cereal in Cuba? Why don't you try to go get some fucking cereal in Cuba? I mean, I did go to a grocery store in Cuba, and it was all mustard. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was 18 aisles of mustard, dude. Big ass containers, and that's like c- Cuban sandwiches in Cuba are uh, mustard, mostly must- bologna, and like a Hawaiian roll, and they just like serve them up by the. F- the thousands. I don't know what type of government they're running over in Iceland, but I know that the liquor stores were like inside of police stations. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously, there would be like a, it would be like when you go into like a, a Walmart and there's a subway inside, <laughs> and instead of liquor, there it was canned fish. Yeah. No, I've never been up there, bro. Do y'all see whales while you were up there? Yeah. 
You did? You did? That's my dream to see a whale in the wild. That was cool. What kind of whales? I don't know. It was just a pack of them right off the right off the shore. What? Yeah. Oh, you were just, you were just like you just glanced out and you're like, oh, there's whales right there. Whales, yeah. You didn't even go looking like, for holy whales. Holy shit, were those? Was that a whale? And then we saw another one. And we're like, oh my god. I want to see a shark in the wild, like like from like uh, like I don't know, like a is it like shark watching? Like I want to see like a great white. You can you know those old Shark Week videos where they would have that fake seal when the sharks would fly out of the water. I want to see that. That would be fucking awesome. I'd be scared, dude. I, I think would never. A whale, one whale would do it for me. One whale, I would. Uh, I love experiencing wonder. But even like, dude, like blue whales, like I, that that shit's too big. It's too. Dude, they're too big. I, I would just tip the boat over. When I went uh, whale watching, that we like passed some uh, some shark boats where like people are lowered. It's not like a full tank where you're just completely submerged. You're on the side of the boat and they lower it so you can like even pop your head above the water if you want. And they said like people as young as three and up to like a hundred years old have done it and they just throw dead fish in the water. But like you don't. Like, we were there for 20 minutes. We didn't see any sharks, and it's just a thousand seagulls just eating all the food that they're oh, throwing yeah. out there. I, I, I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to get in the water. Yeah, I would want to be um, fully submerged in a cage that's, like, just on, like, yeah. a string that's on Nick's thigh, flesh, penis. Yeah. Suspended. Lest we forget. Lest we forget his beautiful thigh, flesh, penis. Tax. No fascist USA. Tax the fucking rich. Tax the rich. Tax the fucking rich. We was taxing the rich. Now, now, now. There's a real son of a bitch. Maybe he's got rectal itch. Do you right now? I had it immediately before this show. It's I'm fine. Clearing up. Yeah, that cream. Paracura. Yeah. Shout out Coon Rapids, Minnesota. That's where it's from. Yep. My my buddy had a a butt cream company, um, and they also then they started specializing in skin cream, and one was in the red container and one was in the blue container. But uh, it's like the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, if you pick <laughs> which future do you want to lead. But it was the same cream in both. They <laughs> just would package it and label it for different things. But the red container and the blue container yeah. had the same cream. Same shit? Same in formula? Same exact cream. Not even just same yeah. formula. It was coming out of the same yeah, like. It's not patch. that weird. Oh, I love this. Ass skin is just skin, man. Yeah. Not just regular old non stinky skin. <laughs> From the day I was born, Mm-mm-mm-mm. I was watching that porn. <laughs> You sold your soul at the crossroads, man. Yeah, I did. To be able to sing funky like Mr. Sparky. Mr. Sparkles. He gave, he blessed us with two genres that we had completely forgotten about. Halloween and soul? Yeah. We don't hear that shit on the radio. Yeah. You don't see that in the TikTok algo. Mm-mm-mm-mm. That's definitely how Sass is fucking farting in that fucking in that toilet shit? right now. You want to shit right now? Of course he is, bro. I like to hold it. Yeah, you like would. Twenty minutes. What's the closest you ever came to shitting yourself? I have shit myself. Because you hold it so hard. A uh, kung fu class. I got sick. Dang. Yeah. Belt? Were you brown? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, it was. It was kung fu. So we did, we were on the sash system. <laughs> like uh, a Girl Scout. I was testing for uh, green to blue. For green to blue. <laughs> Have you did it on test day? Yeah. Damn. Nerves. Well, no, I was just sick. Did they still, uh, did they pass you? It was right at the end. My dad made me ride home in the trunk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, he put you in the fucking <sighs> bonnet? Or no, what's the trunk in the uh, boot. boot? He put you in the boot? Yeah. I had to throw it. Kung Fu pants, though, sit, shit can't seep out because it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, the tight at the, the per- It's the perfect pant to shit. <laughs> yeah, it is. Damn, that's Where'd you go to Kung Fu? Right above the the dry cleaners. It was also a... Elm day. Grove? Uh, no, it was next to Hardee's. They love to put oh, a yeah. karate studio on top of a dry cleaners or a pizza shop. Mm, this was a dry cleaners. It was also a uh, dance studio, a gymnastics studio. Yeah. Dance Inc., I think is what it was called. Tony Zervis. Uh, Tony. What's up, Mr. Shit? He pissed. He just... <laughs> <laughs> 
just piss. I thought about shitting, and then I said, nah. Boys are probably saying something nasty about me. I gotta go control those sons of bitches. Keep us in line. I gotta go put those boys in line. Really went off the rails without you. Roan read more categories. <laughs> <laughs> New ones that they just sent. <laughs> I have a fucking joke about that. Sneakiest, huh. most talented. <laughs> most talented sneaky. Do <laughs> you, th- you think they have any unsneaky categories? <laughs> Rowan won all bow, the low-key bow, bow, categories. Bow. What? Rowan won low-key funniest, low-key smartest. Low-key oh, shit, that's athletic. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, Rowan. Thank you, bro. Congrats. No, that means a lot. I'm happy for you. Yeah, right, you sardonic bastard. Don't even hit me with that sardonic. What the shit, dude? No, you're sardonic, bro, and I've be had nice enough to of you. it. I know you're in like a little bit of a rut right now after the whole yeah, Latin fiasco. I'm in a funk. <laughs> dude, we're going to get arrow, you. Arrow, arrow, hey, arrow. Nothing a little Drizzy can't take care of. <sighs> I know. I'm funny gonna, one. I'm going to DM him right now. I'm going to DM him. I just be like, hey, man, rough day. Can you cheer me up? Yeah, rough day. I bet you he'd send you a gif. <laughs> <laughs> he'd probably send him like a gif of himself. The him standing up clapping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the Raptors game. That was against the Sixers. Whoa. He was really talking a lot of shit that game, man. I remember it like it was fucking yesterday. Who you going to the What do you think with? about Joel Embiid on the podcast being like, I want to win if it's on the Sixers or not? I think he was just uh he's just talking shit. Yeah, he's I'm not that gone. worried about that. No, no. Come on, bro. Don't wish what about the football. Well, come to my Pacers, man. <laughs> come on. You and Tyrese? <laughs> that would be I like crazy. him. Who? Halliburton. He's on the cover of Slam. That duo would be dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. That's what I'm worried about. You know we could have got Halliburton for Simmons. I kind of wanted it at the time. And then we'd still have Halliburton instead you of You guys hate Simmons. Yeah. So that football Never player, why? Why? Was what CJ, what was his name? Gardner, Chauncey Gardner Johnson, who said, uh, "You guys are all assholes, worst people." Yeah, because people are being so mean to him. I Is see what the, the people the say. Pun- Did he punch a guy in the face on the field? Uh, Maybe not when he was on the Eagles. Is he the guy? Oh, oh, uh, Denzel Mims punched him. Oh, okay. Or no, was it Denzel Mims? Some receiver for the Bears tried to rip his chain well, and Mims then, like, punched him. Jets. Right, Denzel Mims is going to get. It was someone else. Maybe Marvin. No, no. no. Marvin Mims. They tried to kill my wife. <laughs> Mims, this is why I'm hot. Mm-hmm. Sad. They tried to kill my. This is why I'm hot. Whoa, uh, you just Denzel uh, Mims. <laughs> yeah, Remember that's Mims? unprecedented. Remember Mims. This is why I'm hot. Remember that? This is no. why I'm hot. Remember that? This is why. This is why. This is why I'm hot. Remember that? I'm no. hot because I'm fly. You ain't because you not. I, I, I know the song. This, why this is Mims. Yeah. That's Mims, bro. All right. What, who sang um? Mm. Just a touch Laffy of love. Taffy. Oh. Is that oh. D- that's sick of Laffy that. Taffy. <laughs> Andy <Indie> girl. <laughs> you know that uh, they these two might start a uh, they might truly start a show together. They should. Why not? I asked if I could be, because they said, because I had suggested it. They said that they might do it. I said, can I be executive producer if you do? And they said, yes, but Nick is too. Yeah, I already, cl- I already tried to. Really? Yeah. Whatever. They, you could have unlimited. Mad Dog EPs. will be in Chicago, so I'll be executive producing Mad Dog. You have Gia. Okay. I like that. I want him to Chicago. do a morning show. Yeah, but like uh, with a U in it. So like whenever someone famous dies. Yes. Yeah. So we have back here. Cool. All right. Hey, look at him yucking it up. Yeah, it's probably something hilarious. He's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Quigs uh, rec- <laughs> recommended that I super follow Meek Phil, and it's just me and Quigs paying three dollars a month for <laughs> some exclusive Meek Phil tweets. He gives. It, does he give you much exclusive shit, or is it dried up? Like I can't talk about it. True. Yeah. What else? Make uh, a, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's fucked up if I give away the exclusive content. It's his cock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! God bless America. God bless us, everyone. Mm-hmm. I Jake the Snake him, mm-hmm. EDT him, and Mausoleums. Mm. Who said that? <laughs> Sound like a battle rapper. Run the jewels. Are they dead? They are the jewels right. live at the garden. They're low key battle oh, rappers. Run the jewels. Killer Mike said he can't do uh, too much weed, though, because schizophrenia runs in his family. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's actually scary. That is terrifying. Yeah. Low-key. St- <laughs> w- <laughs> Stopping weed is gnarly, kind of. It's kind of like its own high in itself. Totally. It's crazy. It happened to my buddy. 
I know. Schizophrenia. You got a whole weed. Yeah. Your buddies have done it all, man. Yeah. I was telling you about that last night. Yeah. I don't talk about that, though. No, I, I wouldn't talk about that. That's true sensitive information. Yeah. But uh, riding a bike is so fucking fun still. Like, I had a road road I've been riding it in three weeks. Like, I just got canceled. You've been riding city bike? So, like, like, like a dickhead. I'm too afraid. I finally Wait, got you past. you say that you've been riding a bike like you just got cancer? Yeah, that's how I ride my bike. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, like, weaving through cars. Like, it's awesome. I do it every It's, like, the most freeing thing in the world when you finally let go of that, uh, those nerves and just go for it. Yes. Go the wrong way on the bike. Yeah, going, yeah just you just can't care. And you, sometimes people will yell at you, thing. and they're always a white person. Yeah, it's never like oh, uh, the, oh, no, it's, it's just the guy. Hey, hey, guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bike lane, wrong way, buddy. Left, left, on, on your left. left. Bike bells should be more intimidating though. If you're about to wreck into somebody, and it's just like tring tring. Yeah, that should. The Uber Eats guys have like a buzzer. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They definitely have that you shit. You should be able to customize it. That's, that was like the beginning of What's New Pussycat. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great bike. Dude, some And some of the dudes, some of the delivery guys have definitely seen some shit because they're wearing full motorcycle helmets on a bicycle. Yeah, they've seen guts. Yeah. Bro, the, there's a rat. Yeah, this guy is borderline. I don't even use that bike, green bike lane anymore. I'm just good on the street. Good driving, very good. This is the bike lane, you dumb shit. <laughs> All right, I fuck with this. This guy has a billion hey. of this video. Guy, dude, you can't do. This. It's gonna happen mirror, every man. time. Right. He's gonna live with. Finds mirror. himself getting frustrated by every. <laughs> it's not gonna be like a perfect ride. bike lane. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, guys, I want this guy to get is this guy pulp beaten out of him. He, he wants like Man, the city to. You got there. This is Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, this the worst dude sucks. ever. Hey, buddy! Wrong way, busted condom. <laughs> Wrong way, <laughs> fucking condom. But dude, he always is. Oh, I is he so who, mad? Oh, exclusively this exclusively is around like 34th Street, the most touristy out. area That's where. It's not like, even bad what I'm seeing. I got yelled at for driving in the wrong way. Show me more of this. He's guy. doing that he has just a for that. Million yeah. videos, yeah. yes. Because you can't stay. I mean, like you'll yell. You'll have to be like, "Fuck you, pussy!" Like every now and again. But that's just me singing 21 Savage lyrics. Off the phone. I kind of like that one. Off the bike lane. He's I'm like smart. speeding up towards them so he could say something. Yeah. Like running over an old lady. This John Leguizamo ass character. Also, like it's. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, but he's, he's not even in a bike he's lane. He's on the far he's right. On the lane. fucking street. He just hit. The, he slapped that car. Hey. My uncle used to slap cars on bikes. One time he had to like go to my grandma's house and like hide in the bushes because they like chased him down after he like slapped the hood in the car. The best is the one where have you seen the video of the of the dudes they're driving and, and they like I guess they got like cut off by a biker and then they, they pull up next to him and they just throw they just push him. Have you seen that one? No. Dudes in the car. It's funny as hell. I don't think no. I've seen that. I think I have it saved. No. People in car lanes do hate bikers though. Deserved. But not now. Share the road. That's like a fucking giraffe getting mad at the bird that lives on his neck. Like that, you shouldn't even be fucking in the. You shouldn't be paying attention. Share the road, you fucking condom. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, busted condom. <laughs> I was, I was like, there. he probably wrote for the first time for those videos. Yeah. He's like, this is gonna kill. Not for the first time. Every video, he's using some like very specifically chosen, off the beaten path. Uh, Insult because he just ran out of cocksuckers and motherfuckers. Yeah. A condom doesn't work. It just doesn't. It's just not a word that can be used. Good job, busted insult. condom. It's <laughs> <laughs> busted condom. Busted sounds like the condom got arrested. Yeah. Like in GTA. Busted condom. It's in the air. Such a shitty insult. Busted. Wasted. Wasted. Wasted condom. Holy shit, did you guys see that Antonio Brown wants next on Adam 22's girl? Oh, oh my god, the saga yo. continues. This can't be real. Bro, Adam 22 is literally not a real person. <laughs> can't find this goddamn video. Whatever. He 
gives a fuck anyway. I care, I care, bro. Gives a goddamn anyway. Nothing matters. Nothing fucking matters. Nothing else matters. So be careful what you say. <laughs> so the cranberries? Metallica. <laughs> that did not sound like Metallica. It's cranberries was Cranberries covering Metallica. Sound like Whoa. some Irish bitch. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like sh- <laughs> Sinead. Sinead. I love me some Metallica. Sass, drop your top five nationalities of, of foreign bitches. Ooh. I'm going to get in trouble for this. <laughs> <laughs> and one, I'm, I'll be on the couch tonight. I can't lie. Because <laughs> no, you asked. <laughs> Babe, Rone asked. What am I going to do? Not give The whole show's five? doing it. This is my art. <laughs> I didn't mean Japanese pussy. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Everyone knows what I'm joking when I say I love Japanese pussy. <laughs> just relax. Dude. Fuck you, up. Are you seriously mad about that? If you can't take it, don't watch. <laughs> I told you not to watch my work anyway. <laughs> I'm playing a character. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit. There's Howard Stern saying that to his wife after like some stripper sucks his dick. <laughs> It's a character. <laughs> hey, come on, babe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a character, babe. <laughs> Robin, what do you say this girl eats my dick? <laughs> But he has and he has a panel of special needs dudes watching. <laughs> yeah, with their with their micro penises out. <laughs> Robin, bring in Stumpy Greg. <laughs> See if he can fuck this girl on a Sibian. <laughs> Damn, I was bro. listening to that. You had that in your bag. I old. never tried it before. Very You're listening good. to what? Howard religiously at ten. My dad got like the. Remember when they were on satellite e? thing? Oh, he bought the satellite that you would stick to your windshield, and I was enamored by that program. Yeah, it was dirty as hell. It was just like everybody was a construction worker driving into work, just being like, what the fuck? It was incredible. You throw on some hard rock. Mm -hmm. I'll go Brazil. (laughs) I'll actually go Iran. Iran, South Korea. Don't play with these Iranians. Um, Something Mediterranean. What would it be? What would it be? Palestinian, Israel, Israel, maybe, maybe. Have you seen the new theory that they're throwing around? Like with the the calling girls mid, they'll post a picture of like the most attractive girl in the world, and the caption will be like, "This was dis- this was considered ugly in the 1960s." Yeah, it was like based off of what are you guys yeah, getting this mean, information that I in saw, the 1960s like because everyone was asses. hotter? I saw a guy that had Margot Robbie, and he was like. Uh, Put on, a, put on a DVD that came out in 2005. Every girl looks like her. Yeah, it's like, no. And then you look up a pic, look up women from the 1960s. They all look like they're fucking 90 years old and they're like 23. Also, people will pull up a picture from the 1960s and be like, look, no body fat on any of these people. Yeah, like like Grover starving. Cleveland never got stuck in a bathtub. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like there weren't fat people. They pull up a picture from the Great Depression, and they're like, "No phones, no obese people." <laughs> yeah, that's how it should. Like, no, they were in a fat pen. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, the David hottest ended. women in 1960s were like Wilma Beth. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? I was like, their name. Yeah, yeah. That's like a stunning photo. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's like an alien. Pull up top ten of the 1960s, or let me. See. Who was the top ten 1960s bitches? <laughs> Whores might be a better word to use for that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like the woman from like the Dick Van Dyke show who like wore pants. It was like, this woman's a fucking pioneer. Most beautiful women of the 60s. Raquel Hero. Welch. Oh, okay. All right. All right. They're putting How up old was numbers. she? Claudia's got lunch, lady arm. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's got to be this Maryland drop-off Monroe. coming up. She was stinky. Where's Jane Mansfield? All right. Hmm. They're making some good points. Okay, so they're yeah, all baddies. Not, not bad, actually. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Margaret's a hilarious name. Hey, they share and Sharon Tate. Tate. This is a little bit too late. Okay, Barbara. E- all right. Gross, all right look gross. Gross. <laughs> yeah, it's Reba McIntyre. <laughs> 
Bridget Bardot was actually town mode. <laughs> <laughs> Bridget Bardot was smoke, and so was Audrey Hepburn. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're smoking hot. Oh yeah, we're fucking up. We should be like. Margot Robbie is ugly as shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, she is mean as fuck. Disgusting. <laughs> gonna go beat off to breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> Damn, Mickey Rooney, great character in that one. Just kidding. I need to watch some more New York movies before I move to Chicago. <laughs> Just kidding. Skidding. Stop. People run to run with that. Skidding, skidding, skidding. I can't believe so many people sit at these fucking stupid ass couches. Worst when I was going to, to when I was taking a, when I was going to the bathroom, I'm like, why are people sitting in the lobby now? Yeah, and people just chill there on like the shallow couches, the shallowest couches of all time. Yeah, shallow couch, stupid ass, dumb ass couches. Let's see who that dude stanced up. He is wide set. Mm-hmm. Look how wide that stands, boy. That was an old text caption. He took a wide ass stance picture, and then the caption was, "Look how wide that stance, boy." <laughs> I think of it all the time when I see a stanced up man. Do you rank like handicapped women? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Won't let me blog. You blog like a, like one of these lists of wheelchair girls, <laughs> or so. Which is objectively remember. funny That's and uh, bigoted funny. to not let that exist. Yeah. One Ooh. day. My handicapped children will be judged by their hotness. <laughs> <laughs> Not by the fact that they're sitting in a wheelchair. Mm. Are you doing handicapped Martin Luther King? Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Doing, I got All a right, dream right. to the tune of handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> That's a remix. That's the motherfucking remix. We got a new remix. talent book. Did we? Yeah. A man added to the team. Talent, a new talent booker. Yeah. I love that for like a security measure, we uh, tinted the doors so we just let anybody in that knocks. Yeah. You know? Like the, anybody with an Uber Eats bag couldn't fucking infiltrate here with like six Uzis in there. It could probably hold, yeah, probably around six Uzis. Yeah, if you stack them. About eight Dracos, six Uzis. I mean, someone could just walk in with an Uzi and be like, I'm here for the yak. And they'd be like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, just going to talk today on the yak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Just wait in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Come get you. And then the thing is, we'd see that guy. We're like, is that guy have a fucking Uzi? Get him in. Get him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up, dude? Yeah. What's with the Uzi? Yeah. <laughs> Not ass, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yeah, come in. Sit down. Talk in the mic. Right, but you're going to be on the wet wheel now. You're going to be on the wet wheel. Oh, yeah. Just sit anywhere. Anywhere. I'll get up. I'll get up. I gotta go to the bathroom anyway. <laughs> this ass goes to the bathroom to avoid getting genocided. What a fucking pussy. <laughs> Think about the stripper incident often and how odd that was that people were so mad at me. This ass wasn't even fucking hard. Yeah. People were like, I could never even imagine turning down a free lap dance. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Yeah, and it was like, dude, it's noon. <laughs> On a Monday, and I'm on a live stream with my coworkers. It's not like we're at a strip club at three in the morning. And that video would just be used so often. Man, imagine if I just like sat back, <laughs> yeah, fucking, way fucking lay it on me, it smacked her ass, yeah. and jiggled it in your yeah. hand. I was like, oh, fuck. Slow down. Yeah, harder. <laughs> Biting her ear. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> like, yeah. that's what people wanted. <laughs> like, dudes, I guess I understand that, though. It's kind of like when you're watching a movie and then, like, there's a sex scene and you're like, I wish they showed more titties in that. Like, if you're watching The Yak and all of a sudden there's just, like, a hot ass stripper on the show, you're probably. No, like, but I'm never in the watching a movie being like, why isn't he fucking her how I want? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But it's like you ruined someone jerking off. They're like, I need yeah, to fucking is, jerk yeah. off and bust to this. And you're. The right, hell's your attitude. Ass. Instantly, they open up Twitter. I was just about to fucking bust, <laughs> and then you flaked. <laughs> you flaked on my bust. Uh, what the hell am I gonna bust now? Have a better attitude, sass. You don't know how good you have it. You just got handed pussy. <laughs> yeah, you're 22 and got handed <laughs> pussy. <laughs> good shit. It would have gotten lamb basted if they had fucked. And then you snuck out. No one gave don't give a shit about that. Oh, I got I got shit for it. Roan's a pussy. 
<laughs> no. Not, not the same level. People didn't say that. Oh, they definitely did. They were like, he's a smart pussy. Yeah, I would have worked her. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you here? No, no we I was on a road trip. Oh, yeah. Watching live, and I kind of was. What the them. hell is going on in here? Dude, Mook's never done anything well. <laughs> never. <laughs> God, yeah, this is what's gonna. This is what the office has turned into. Yeah, like a nineteen ten. People playing games. Dude. Someone's gonna go by with like a, a playpen. Dude, it's like, recess. Ring yeah. talk, the TikTok prompts are insane, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> KB, KB, KB. I feel like a child. KB, we were in the elevator <laughs> yesterday, and we were walking in, and I was like, he he hit the third floor button. I was like, why are you going to the third floor? He's like, because I don't want to have anyone asking me any TikTok questions. <laughs> They ambush me as soon as I walk in. Today was fun. I got to draw a circle. <laughs> yeah, I did draw a circle too. Yeah, I did draw a circle too. What the hell? Did we, did you guys get your report card recently? We just got ours, and it was like they they want us to post like over a thousand TikToks like a month. We had a meeting today. I think you guys had it yesterday. No, we have one tomorrow. Oh, I'm not gonna be here though. <laughs> Thank God. I'll zoom in. What's up, brother? Hey, that's when it's they like, uh, that's when they cold really cut salesman. Yeah, in. yeah. I'll get a call from five uh, at five from Roan. Yeah, a lot of people are mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you not in tomorrow? No. You said you were gonna be here. I asked you this no. earlier in the week. Yes. Fucking big cast last day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are we even doing? Guys, I mean, what the, what hell, the hell, are hell are we even doing? Oh, uh, that's a, probably another award we're giving out. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck. What the fuck, fuck is going on, award? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dot, 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 award. Um, I think if we spin the wheel, it's going to land on Carbone. I do too. Can we just go right now? Yeah. Let's just assume it did. Did uh, Drake ever rap about Carbone? It has know. to have. Every hot spot in every major city. But he likes to rap about, about like, low-key. Like, he probably has rapped about the box a few times. I just hit a lick with the box. Yeah. It's Roddy Rich, bro. It's Roddy Rich. I spin it. Why are they flaming Lil Baby? Because he didn't sell out. I guess he, like, didn't Fuck. sell a lot of tickets on his tour. Fuck. And he had to, like, cancel shows. It, I think they canceled the whole tour. The thing yeah. they're saying is, like, music is trash, though. It's like, fell off. Really? I think Lil Baby's pretty good. Last table left at Carbone. Colin plays on the rotary phone. I take a glass of Dummy Non to go with me home. Damn, I Drake. thought you were just spitting off, I thought the, he, I thought <laughs> off the dome. dome. <laughs> Shit. Damn, DJ. Damn. <laughs> you could have played that off. Then last table left. I feel like they would like pull up a table for Drake. You think that he's ever not gotten into Carbone? I think that's also, but I think that's also a huge. Like, what's that? There's that video where they're like, "This this is a bar that denied Drake one time." Right, like I think that's like a big thing. Really, it can be like, yeah, we're very exclusive. We didn't let Drake in, and they probably just let some like bleached hair, like unemployed dude, be in there yeah. with a good ass jawline. Yeah, I see a lot of clubs like flaunting who they turned down. Whack, like Elon Musk. <laughs> 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 I guess he gets turned down dumb. by a lot of clubs. <laughs> that, it, it makes sense. He probably kills the vibes pretty hard. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, at a club, like. They're just blasting music. All you have to do is like sit at your table. There's no way he kills the whole vibe of a club. I oh, know. I've never been to a club. I wouldn't be so. able to let loose around Musk. <laughs> I would be tight as hell. You would, yeah, yeah. What you're doing with Twitter is fucking phenomenal. <laughs> you lie to him. Yeah. To like gain his approval. Doge. <laughs> the moon. Doge. That shit was hilarious. How do you come up with your tweets? You're my favorite meme meme provider. He is fucking underrated. He him well. He knows what's funny. He's a fucking genius. Did you guys record Anus this week? Yeah. Is it out? Yeah. yeah. Let's fucking go. Go download that bitch. Yep. You plug an Anus right now, dude? Of course. Ooh. Thanks. Been plugging Anus. Since birth. Now nah, that shit's on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> Big football. Big Billy trying football. to cut down on the workload, so we're it's done. <laughs> it's done. Yeah. I wonder who's who's next to get canceled in favor of like electroconvulsive therapy on this third floor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're cutting t- twenty five positions. Sorry, anus has got to go. <laughs> Gaz has got a derma roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, let's play uh, Sporkle. Do a round. 
Just do, do a quick round. TJ, you're in, but just be it. Oh, we, we just know you're ethical. Honor, honor Ooh, I like this, this shit. Yeah, so and you're that. right next to it. It's the fucking shade. Read it off, Saz. Only MLB pitchers with 500 plus wins, two father slash son U.S. president surnames, are countries, four corner states, it's always sunny main characters, six clue suspects, seven classifications of living things, eight standard Crayola colors, nine one word military ranks, 10 countries to finish runner up in the men's world cup. Go ahead and start, Sassy. Um, I'll go with Russia. Bush. Hey. Go TJ. Adams. TJ, go after you. Okay. Uh, Romania. Hey. Florida. Hey. Oh! All right. Honorable man, but at what cost? Does that mean states that have four corners, or this? No, I think there's the four corner states. Like there's an actual area of the country, right? Yeah. yeah. Square boys. Bye. <laughs> um, I'll go with Dennis Reynolds. No, I'm gonna have to do Dennis because there's three Reynolds. D E N N I S. Yes, just sit back and enjoy, my brother. Yeah. Oh, you, you you can just scratch the Reynolds. It doesn't the Reynolds doesn't even need to be in there. Just do Dennis D E N N I S. Oh, New Mexico. D D E E. Charlie. Mac. Professor Plum. Nice. Frank. Colonel Mustard. Uh, oh, oh, but it's we're gonna lose on here. Ah. Uh, uh, what do we? You're good. You're good. Okay. Oh, is it me? Yeah. Um, four corner states. Uh, North Dakota. <laughs> no, I was just thinking squares. It's like the they're, they Arizona, Utah. Shit, bro. Mister Green. Colorado. Clear. For what? No, no, no. Uh, 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 general. Sergeant. Just hit her with the old right clicky. Rwanda. I couldn't think of it. Captain. Private. What's that last category? Ten countries to finish not a uh, runner-up in the men's World Cup. Uh, Mrs. White. Finish runner-up. Yes. Croatia. Get Roan. France. Good pull, Nikki. See? England. Mm. Nope. Thought that would be a good guess. That one had me worried. Adam Farone. Um. Mr. Farone. Floor is yours. Floor is yours. Uh, uh, 
Argentina. Argentina. Red. Hmm. <laughs> you bastard. Blue. Violet. Ooh. I'm out. <laughs> Green. Shit. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mr. Farone takes home another win. I thought they would have Roy G. Bived out of the original. Mrs. Peacock, Miss Scarlet. Cy Young. Oh. Brown, orange, yellow, purple, black. Corporal, lieutenant, major, specialist. Brazil, Czechoslovakia, Germany, Hungary, Italy, Netherlands, Sweden. I'll be. Better when I'm older. I'll be the greatest All fan right. of your life. All right, Sass, you got shit to do, man. Yeah. No. I'm down to I call do. it. You have shit to do? Yeah. What do you got to do? I got to fit it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, holy fuck. You guys got to end it. Yeah, let's end it. See you guys tomorrow. Jim Robot.